Hoggers. Hello everybody! Welcome back to Oros, which uh, I, I played last week. I think I probably could have completed this game last week, but last week I got very distracted by many things, 
and proceeded to not complete the game in time. But there's only a few puzzles left, so I thought, why not start off with some puzzling and then just go into a just chatting stream because I've, I've got a lot of stuff to talk about at the moment. <laughs> Exciting stuff. There's a lot of stuff happening around about now. So I, I figured, why not? Give it a try. And if I run out of things to talk about, I will, um, I don't know, play Neopets. I don't know. <laughs> but welcome in, everybody. Wait, I'm just waiting for the text for speech. It's so slow. I need to figure something else out for this. Is the text of speech not going to do the yay? Yay. There we go. I, I did it for you. <laughs> but welcome, everybody. Let me go from the top. Akire, congratulations on the first. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for testing my sound alerts. <laughs> welcome on in. Bob, welcome. Rika, welcome. Hikari, welcome. Good morning. Gambler, hello. Brinley, hi. Yes, it's puzzle time. I'm very excited. Excited for puzzles. But uh, I only have like maybe like seven seven or eight puzzles left in this game <laughs> so it's probably going to be finished quite quickly but uh, i i wanted to finish it because it's it's been a really fun game it's a really good game and i wanted to make sure i i fully completed it <laughs> and yamato hello thank you so much for the prime sub for 34 months oh my goodness ne nearly three years of prime i thank you so much for for using your prime sub on me. You only get one of those. I, I feel honored to receive it. Ah, ba ba ba. And Addy, hello! Hi, good evening! I love that I can say, like, good morning and good afternoon and good evening to people in the same chat. <laughs> welcome, welcome! Welcome to Comfy Times. And Jack, hello! Thank you for the tier two! 26 months thank you so much i'm i was waiting for the text to speech to do the yay and she's just decided she doesn't want to work anymore i don't know why this is happening hold on i'm, I'm tabbing out for a second the music will stop why are you not talking why will you not speak please speak please speak she has no reason to be on strike i've been i've been feeding her regularly <laughs> Yeah, she just straight up just doesn't want to work. Even trying to do a test message just is not going through. Why is this happening? I need to I need to find a, a better a better text to speech system <laughs> that doesn't rely on a server somewhere. Oh my goodness, wait, hold on. Hype train? A hype train? Oh my goodness. Also, Grace No, hello, and Dr. Anime, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome on in. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the the mystery of the text to speech on strike. Let me let me put the game window back in focus so there's some background ambience. <laughs> but oh, Bob, thank you so much for the gift subs. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, and thank you for the hype train and the bits, Jay June, hello. This text-to-speech is fine. Disregard previous suggestion to replace. <laughs> Maybe I can just be the text-to-speech. Although I'm, I'm, I'm kind of becoming text. To, that, that. Ugh. What am I trying to say here? My brain's not on yet. Give me a second. I need to. Uh, I need to do this. There we go. That's what I need to do. That is what I must do. I need monster. But I'm like, technically, me just reading out messages is text-to-speech. Like, I'm seeing the text and I am turning it into speech. <laughs> so, like, it's not automated text-to-speech, but I can just read the messages and it is technically text-to-speech. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hydrate as well, Jack. I can have a... I was going to say a legal sip. It's not illegal for me to drink my drink outside of hydrate redeems. <laughs> and also... 
Weed and Sun. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, Bob. Bob, thank you so much for the gift subs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the hype train is building. Oh my, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I, yeah, the text-to-speech just is not working at the moment. Oh, but it would be quite funny to make my own Sandra text-to-speech. I should do that. I should look into that. See how difficult it is. That would be quite funny. <laughs> but uh, welcome in, everybody. I hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. We're off to a stellar start on the, the brain front, as you can tell. <laughs> so I love how I said there's, there's only a few puzzles in this game left. It I'll probably finish it really fast. Uh, knowing how I am today, it might take me all stream, actually. Because <laughs> these puzzles are really, really difficult ones now. Like, I've... Hold on, I... I still had the test window up for the text-to-speech. Which is just not working. <laughs> but uh, if we look now... Last time I played this... I was playing this last week. This is the last area, and I only have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... I'm presuming like 8, 9, maybe? I, I literally only have these puzzles to go, unless there's like a secret one afterwards? But yeah, I've been- I've done all of these, all of these. I did all of these puzzles in the stream last week. But I also wasted time watching videos of, like, pottery getting painted. <laughs> so, like, if I hadn't done that, I probably would have finished the game in one go. But it's okay, I am- I am simply a cat and I get distracted easily. But it just means I can- I can share, like, the cool ambience twice. So I don't think it's that bad. I think it's gonna be a comfy time. But uh, if, like, for example, I'll click here. If I click on this. As you can see, the puzzles are quite complex. Uh, if anyone doesn't know how this game works, uh, it's basically a game where you have this line. Sometimes it's a loop, sometimes it's a curve. And what you have to do is you have to go between all of the numbered points in order. So you've got to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So clearly this is a loop that goes like, like that kind of pattern. To go like six, one, two, three, four, five. However, these dots, if you see a dot, you have to go through it with the line however many times there are rings. So this one, there's the dot and then another ring. That has to be, like, the, the little blob has to go through it twice. These ones, these are connected, so when you go through this, you have to then go through that and that. Or if you go through this, you then have to go through that and that. Like, they're, they're linked. They're linked dots. So they make things considerably harder as well. And because these have to be gone through twice, you have to start with this so you can go to the number and then back to it so you got the two. Because otherwise if you go through it once, like you start here, you go through it once, you'd have to go through one again and that doesn't work. But yeah, these are like the, the end gamey type puzzles. Like if I, hold on, if I go back to the map, I'll go to one of the, the earlier puzzles to, to give a better example. Let's go with that one. Which one's this? Yeah, like this. Uh, here we've got a one, two, three, four. That seems a little more simple. And also, these little, like, red blobs of doom, you can't make the blob go through that. However, this one is, you've got to go one, two, three, four. So clearly that's going to be, like, an infinity symbol, right? So what we'll do is we'll swap these. And then it's just a matter of lining everything up in a way that it goes through all the points it needs to. So here we go, one, two, three, four. Also, it's so satisfying, the sound design. The aesthetics, the sound design, everything about them is so... It's so very satisfying to do. And then this is one with curves and also this portals. So basically, they still go along the line in the same way, but they are separated. 
But as you can see here, these ones all need to go... You need to go through them twice. So what we'd do here is we'd go one, two, and then curve to hit all of these. And then we'd go three, four, and curve to hit them all again a second time. And that's how we solve that one, because then it'll go one, two, we get the first hit, three, four, we get a second hit. So that's like the, the basic premise of how the game works. And now I'm on endgame puzzles. <laughs> it's a really, really fun game, though. Oh, I wonder if this game was inspired by a vector artist getting frustrated trying to get a vector. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can... It wouldn't surprise me. I'm... I feel like one of the problems I've had with this game in, like, solving them is that I don't understand how curves work. So I'll keep moving the points around and expect it to curve in a certain way, and then it's suddenly, like, zooping off over here, and I'm like, what have I done? How do these handles work? What is going on here? <laughs> but uh, it's been really fun. And it's like those kind of mechanics are the kind of thing I would feel would frustrate me, usually. However, in this game, like, just the vibes of this game are so relaxed and chilled out that I don't find myself getting frustrated. I'm just like, well, I'll Tell just Tell a joke, keep... what cool wheel feels sleepy, he get tired, cold, sweat, smile. <laughs> oh, the text-to-speech is back. Thank you for the text-to-speech. Um... <laughs> Thank you for the text-to-speech, Dr. Anime. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love that joke. I love puns based on wordplay. Like, when a wheel gets sleepy, it's tired. <laughs> I love it. But oh, she's working again. Let me... Let me very quickly get everything as it should be. Are you not going to play my test messages? Wow, I maybe she just doesn't want to say yay. Could that be it? Does she just not want to say yay? Because every time I'm trying to put a test message in to say yay, it's not working. Let me let me try something different. What is going on? It's just not working. <laughs> it worked for the single test. joke. Oh, wait, the test worked. Yay. Yay! Oh, if you send the text to speech right now because I'm doing the testing stuff, it might have gotten eaten. Yay. Yay! <laughs> I want to do all the text-to-speech messages. Come on. Say it. Say it, Sandra. This text-to-speech is fine. Disregard previous suggestion to replace. Yes! <laughs> yay. It works. <laughs> oh, the yay with all of the A's turned into yay. <laughs> yay indeed, Sandra. Thank you. Thank you for finally cooperating in the way we agreed. Can't believe this. Last time last time it happened, I I don't remember what I what we agreed on. I think it was because I I wouldn't sort the M&Ms out by color for her or something. <laughs> oh, it's still really Sandra is on strike. Ah, that one worked. It's it's a little bit delayed. It's still a little bit delayed, but it does seem to be working now. Thank goodness. That was weird. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the text of speeches. Can't believe she would be so rude, honestly. <sighs> At least it's working. Also, thank you so much, everybody, for the hype train. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, the level two hype train. <gasps> I got an emote too. Wait. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's a little... 
It's a little bear. That's so cute. That is really cute. Aw. Aw, I'm so glad. But yeah, that was a strange... <laughs> strange malfunction because I I think it's pro it's probably down to the servers I'm using for the the text-to-speech thing that I'm using as a like a combined thing uh, I, I probably need to look into a, a, a different text-to-speech host because I, I have noticed a lot of problems with this one it is very delayed but it's also like really free and easy to set up which is why I used it <laughs> But uh, I would love to to make like a leery text to speech voice just for myself. I I would not trust the general public with it. it so it wouldn't be like a a thing I offer out. Like I'm not going to be offering my voice as an AI voice anytime soon because I've seen so many nightmare things. Um I would rather try and avoid it. But having having like a Sandra text to speech I bet I could do that. I bet I could, like, train an AI text-to-speech model for that. <laughs> and make it a bit more personalized. Because I'd also love, as well, to get, like, a proper little Sandra model rigged and have her up on screen so when the text-to-speech happens, she's she's talking. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll see. There's, there's a lot of a lot of stuff I want to do and no time to do it all in, so it's I'm, I'm adding it to my list, but my list is already quite long. Top of the list is uh, song cover stuff, so... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's working though. And Maya, hello as well, welcome, welcome. Yay. Oh, thank you for the posture check as well, Dr. Anime. Let me have a, a big stretch. Set up straight. Stretch out my arms. Oh, my arms needed a stretch, actually. Ooh. I didn't realize how tense my arm muscles were. Oh, you you need to get to do more VR chat rigging. <gasps> you know, I'm doing that. Oh, could it be me? Could it be little old me, Bob? <laughs> Oh, but good job on having your first uh, VTuber child as well. Good job with the the VR chat rigging with that. I, I saw the post earlier. And oh, Rika, what does she look like in my mind? Uh, Sandra looks like a worm on a string. She can vary in size. When she is in her eldritch realms, she is a lot bigger than she is in the human realm. But uh, if we're talking about, like, a, a humanized version, I, I guess she probably could get a human form if she so desired, but I think she likes being a worm. Because be, being, like, um, a powerful eldritch deity, she can kind of choose what form she wants to take, and she seems to have chosen the worm on a string form. I think because she can blend in a lot easier when, when I'm just, like, carrying a worm around. <laughs> I got a little worm belt on. But uh, if she did have a human form, I think she'd be very elegant. Oh, I thought the text-to-speech lady was a separate character. Oh, no, th the text-to-speech is Sandra. However, Sandra actually has a voice now. It's not just the, uh, <laughs> the text-to-speech voice. But uh, it's it's because I, I joked about the text-to-speech being Sandra, and sometimes she just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> but no, with Sandra, I think if she had a, a human form, it would be very elegant. I actually did, and I, I was talking with Addy about this at one point, and we were thinking of potential Sandra designs. <laughs> so maybe that's something else to look forward to in the future as well. Exciting stuff in the horizon. And by in the horizon, I mean like next year horizon probably, because who has free time anymore? What is what's that? <laughs> oh, and... Lucas Armory, hello! You see a puzzle! You, this is actually the menu for a puzzle. Not the puzzle itself. But welcome in! It is indeed puzzle time! And oh, Suzume! Hello from America! Hi! How's it going? I hope your flight went well. I hope you had a... Hope you had a calm flight. Hope it didn't go too badly. Hope there weren't any screaming babies. <laughs> but welcome, welcome! A vacation begins! 
<laughs> but also crying at your schedule. I don't worry, I understand. I understand wholeheartedly. Especially with so many Studio Ale and things as well. Man, I, I, I love how, like, if I think about myself five years ago, I had so much free time and I didn't know what to do with it. And, like, I was miserable because I didn't have too much to do that I enjoyed. And it felt like I had so much time and I was just wasting it. Uh, now I look at myself and I think of all the things I want to do and need to do. And I run out of time to do them all. I've got so much to do. I'm, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so much busier. And I'm so much happier for it as well. I really like... I like being busy. I like doing things. I like having things to do. Because if I don't have things to do, I, uh, I, I tend to kind of like spiral a bit in my head. I, I get very in my head and I'm, I think about, well, I could be doing useful things. So I really do like having lots of things to do and being busy. It's a, it's a, it's a nice problem to have, especially when I'm busy because of exciting things and fun projects. <laughs> but from time to time, I am also like, I wish... I, w I wish I had time to do s to do other stuff. But yeah, I, I really like distractions. D distracting myself is like my, my biggest uh, my biggest coping mechanism. <laughs> it's like if if I'm feeling sad for no reason, I'm just like, I need to just do something. Because then when I start doing something, I start focusing on that and I can't I stop thinking about the negative things. But yeah, I have so many things I need to do, still. Many things I need to do. <laughs> and Teffy, hello! Welcome, welcome. Tremendous mood. I'm just here, like, being sadly relatable. Just the saddest high fives all around. <laughs> but yeah, I'm... Very busy, but in a, in a fun way. In an exciting way. And I'm hoping to... Th this is gonna sound weird. I'm hoping to become busier soon as well because I'm actually planning on following up with some things that I've been neglecting for a while. This is like the, the vaguest comment because it relates to like seven or eight things. Like, <laughs> But uh, May has been a bit of a weird month for me because, uh, yeah, I, I think I will talk about this actually. I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna talk about this or not, but I think I will. Just while we're chatting and stuff. Also, MX Benny, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. But uh, May's been a really weird month for me because uh, my my usual medication that I take, I ended up getting prescribed a different brand of it to what I usually have uh, because my my prescription is just like generic. It's just whatever is available, I take that. But ever since like having this different branded medication. I've I've been feeling like I haven't been taking my medication even though I have. It's not really been working for me. And because of it, it's kind of made May a little bit of a wobbly month for me. <laughs> my focus hasn't quite been as it should be. As it as it's supposed to be. And I'm I was trying to think what it was, because to begin with I was like, well it can't be the medication. It's literally the same active ingredient at the same dose how can it be different but uh, i was i was looking into like the ingredients for like filler ingredients and stuff and the ingredients list is different so it's the only thing i can think of that's changed so i think it's got to be that so so yeah i've been a little bit a little bit all over the place in may it does feel like may has kind of just fallen into a void somehow for me <laughs> like i can't believe we're at the end of may already but uh but now that i've figured that out i'm hoping that is the thing and i managed to find out some of my old medication that had obviously like fallen out of out of a box or something at some point and as soon as i started taking my old medication again i instantly felt like my head was clearer so i i'm pretty i'm pretty certain that's the problem the weirdest problem that I wouldn't have thought of if I'd had other variables happening. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a it's been a bit of a weird time. But I'm hoping I can get back on track properly now. 
Especially with Ofkai being this weekend as well. I'm really excited for that. And also, Suzume, thank you so much for the congratulations too. For anyone who hasn't seen the news in my Discord or on Twitter, uh, I am now officially part of the Studio Elan uh, Stream Ambassador program. I am a Studio Elan Ambassador. I'm a bellflower. <laughs> It's so exciting. It's really, really exciting. But, oh, okay, I do my best. But yeah, I'm I'm so glad I found this blister pack out because without this, wow. I I I need to wait until my next prescription, which is in another week. But with this, like I'm rationing it out, I can make it last a week. <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I'm I'm part of the Studio Elan Ambassador program. I still need to set up commands and stuff. I wanted to set up commands and like little information panels in my about section. I haven't done that yet. The announcement was only last night. <laughs> but uh, I'm officially a bellflower now. Also, isn't it so cute? Like the the stream ambassadors are called bellflowers. I think that is the sweetest thing. I'm really happy to call myself a bellflower. <laughs> but yeah, it's so nice because anyone anyone who views my streams will know how much I talk about Studio Elan and how much I love the games, how attached I am <laughs> to to the company. So when when I was asked if I wanted to be part of the first generation of stream ambassadors, I, I think I replied within the minute, just saying yes, all in caps. Like, <laughs> like of course. I, I I shill you anyway. Let me officially be part of that. So that's really, really exciting. And hold on. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to tab out of the game again. I wish it still played the background ambience when I'm tabbed out. But it doesn't. But I just wanted to post one chat message. So I'm a Studio Elan stream ambassador. Get 10% off in the Studio Elan web store using code Liri. Ha 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 ha. There, that's the post. And even though I'm not... Oh, thank you for pinning it for me! I was trying to find the pin thing. I I lost all my, my mod icons because I've been fiddling around with OBS ready for off crime. <laughs> but uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to share that immediately because it's really exciting. <laughs> it's so nice and... I I've I've bought so many things from the web store. Like they they have so much lovely merch. You can get physical copies of the games. There's art books. There's there's uh, VTubers as well. There's this cool little group called Verpro. You may have heard of them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be part of this because, like, I I really love all of their games. Like. I'm I'm here for the Yuri visual novels. That's it's my favorite. And with me actively playing Twofold as well, which is part of the the Bell House umbrella, it it's perfect. It works out so perfectly. And also Sarah Cat, hello! You tried one of my favorite monster flavors. You got the white one? It was pretty good. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm I'm so glad you you saw it and thought of me. <laughs> I really love that. Thank you so much. But uh, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. And oh, this is off topic, but the one downside of being in Freedom Land for off guys, <laughs> I stream at 6 a.m. now. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing. Like, it's like, what? what is my usual time? It's like 6. Yeah, it's 6 a.m. for the, the West Coast. And then it's like 9 a.m. for the East Coast, I think. And then the middle is like between that. <laughs> But yeah, my stream times are very early in the USA and then very late in like Japan, Australia, South Korea kind of side of the world. But yeah, oh, you're all about the peach monster currently. Oh, I, 
I am also slightly obsessed with the peach monster. It's kind of like a like a salmony orangey pink kind of can color. It's it's more orangey than I'd consider peach to be as a color. But the the peach the the ultra peachy keen. I I tried it for the first time. I'm pretty sure it was this this month. It was very recent. It was extremely recent that I tried it for the first time because they happened to have it in the shop across the road from me. And I was like, well, I'll buy a can of that. Why not? And it just tastes like peaches. It's so nice. It is really, really nice. It's I've actually added it to my rotation of cans that I show on the stream. Like, oh, wait, I can I can literally show you what the can looks like. Uh, see how I've got the the Rosa can? up above my head at the moment with the axolotl. Uh, that's the peach one. That's the can for the ultra peachy keen. <laughs> I liked it so much, I added it to my PNG collection because <laughs> I plan on drinking much more of it because it's really nice. But yeah, it tastes so good. Oh, and Bob, you'd love to buy more stuff, but you have a huge expense you have to take care of first. Oh yeah, definitely. It is so important to look after yourself first and foremost like merchandise is nice but it's it's better to look after yourself and and cover things you need to and make sure you're not putting yourself out of pocket <laughs> wait if that's the case why are you gifting me subs why are you gifting me subs <laughs> how dare you uh thank you thank you i guess i'll just have to gift you in return i still need to gift you that monster i keep meaning to Send your monster and then life gets in the way. But it will happen. <laughs> but yeah, the Ultra Peachy Keen is so nice. Oh, the gold one's still your favorite though. That's the pineapple one, isn't it? I do like that one as well. I just find it harder to find in the shops. And I tend to just buy like... Bulk lots of the ones I know that I like the most. And, like, I like the gold one. I feel like it's one that I I drink a lot slower. Like, it's not the type that I would just get a can and just keep drinking it. Like, oh, I love this. But I do like it as well. But I have a can of the Ultra Rosa at the moment. Which is from the, the lots that Barb gifted to me. <laughs> and I love the Rosa. I think the Rosa... Hmm. I'm trying to think. I think it might... It might be my favourite. I genuinely don't know. I'm not sure if it's my favourite or not. I, I keep trying to think of the flavours, and I like all of them in different ways. I don't think I can pick a favourite flavour of Monster. <laughs> I have a top four. I have a, to a top four and they're all kind of even. Ah, uh, uh, the gold and white are fairly common. Ah, uh, yeah, over here it's mostly just, it's like the Ultra Zero, the white can, or it's the regular monster in the black can with all of the the sugar still in. <laughs> and I, I really like the Ultra ones mostly. I, I, I haven't been able to drink regular monster since getting the Ultra monster. It's like, I've, I've gotten so used to the, the lovely flavors the nice sweet flavors of the ultra ones that I regular monster now is just like well I'll drink it if I have to but I I love them I love them a lot it's more of a Xander can than a Leary one yeah the the, the gold can yeah <laughs> although it's kind of funny because Xander hates pineapple flavor he hates pineapple flavored things <laughs> but he does love gold I just have to get it and then drink it out and wash out the can and then just be like, here you go, you can have the can afterwards. Oh, uh, oh, your favorite one's the Mango Loco. Oh, I do like that one as well, but I, I think it's the same situation. Like, I like that one, but I drink it very slowly and I can't drink much of it. Like, it feels more filling, if that makes sense. Like, I drink a little bit of it and I'm like, yeah, I'm done now. Which means I don't get the full effects of the caffeine because I don't drink the whole can. <laughs> right, anyway, I've, I've just been talking for a while. I should have had a puzzle open and started, like, moving things around as I talk. But it's okay, I'm not a smart person. 
But yeah, this one... This one's gonna have to be... I've gotta go do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. How am I gonna do that? I need to, like, figure out how I'm gonna, like, bring it in. Because we have one, two, three... We have eight handles for this one. So it's like, I know the shape I need to make. It's just actually making it that is the challenge. So we have like three, and then it's like... Oh, I think it's something like this. No, these need to be like tighter together. Oh, I think this is the shape I need. I need it to be like, it's gonna be like a little butterfly shape. Oh, wait, I think this is gonna be really cute actually. Do I have enough handles for what I want to do here? I think I know the shape I need to make, it's just whether I can actually make that shape. Right, at the moment, it is going through the red, so it's not quite working, but... I think I need to swap these. Oh, ah, oh, I'm... <laughs> Curves, how do they work? I know the shape I need to make here, it's just how, how do I make it with these curves? Maybe it'll help if I draw it out on paint again. Shall I, shall I go for the Microsoft Paint approach again? <laughs> I think it might help me to have a, a visual reference. I'm going to try that. Music stops. Let me just... There we go. While I'm, while I'm tabbed out, we can have some background elevator music. <laughs> How do I resize? Oh, I, I should have I should have taken a screenshot without all these curves flying around everywhere. Uh, would you like to see my paint window? Uh, <laughs> Wait, where's my paint window? Ah, where's my Microsoft Paint? Paint, where are you? Paint. Paint. There it is. That is tiny. Here's my paint window. I, I took a screenshot with all of these curves all over it. This doesn't help. <laughs> Let me put that down there for now. Uh, so the task here is to get the single line to go through the numbers in order, plus the back and forths. Yeah, it's... With these... These ones are dots that can basically... They, you can go through those at any point in the sequence. But with these ones, they're linked to the one. So if I hit this one, I have to hit the one and then come back. And then with this one, if I hit this one, I then have to next hit the four and go back. This one can be anywhere in the loop, but it has I have to go through it twice. Because there's the dot in the middle and then a ring around it. But yeah, I'm in like end game puzzles at the moment, so it... They are... They are ramping up in difficulty, but this one is... I, I see the shape I have to make. Sorry for the double sound there for a second. I see the shape I have to make. I just haven't actually made it. Let me resize you. I'm gonna make my paint window bigger. There we go. Like this. It's very messy. It's okay. But yeah, it's these these are like the the hard end game puzzles. So they they're not all this difficult. This is the last area. <laughs> but it's been a it's been such a lovely game to play though. This game is really really nice. Right. Oh, hey, hello. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. You woke up at a decent time today. Let's go. 
welcome, welcome. I'm glad you can make it. Welcome. I'm I'm using Microsoft Paint to figure out what I'm doing here. See, the problem is because I oh because I have to go through this twice. I think I need to do a loop like this. Right, this is messy, but that's the shape I need to make. It's like a, almost like a butterfly. This is the shape I'm gonna have to make to go through all the points. So I know what the solution is. I've just gotta figure out how to make the curves cooperate with me. Let's give it a try. We can just chat while I'm wobbling the handles around. Although it is nice as well that the, the handles are like color coded too. So if I get lost, I'm like, I know that pink, then red, then orange, then yellow, then green. They go around like that. It's nice. Oh, like a bow tie. You're right. It is like a bow tie. It is. It's a bow. Oh, it's like a little bow with the, the fold as the middle part. Right. So opposite points are probably a good place to start. So we'll put one of them down here and one of them up here. So the purple and yellow, these are our opposite points. I know, I know I'm not going through anything. Let me make that smaller. Like this. So yeah, the, the idea is to have it to twist in the middle. So then like... Starting like this. I, I don't know how curves work, which is not working to my advantage. But yeah, basically we're gonna have like a twist here and also a twist to make everything else go through as well. Mm -hmm. At which point do I have the green up here instead of the purple? Maybe. And then these two twist. Maybe. Okay, it's very messy at the moment. I'm just trying to figure out where the points need to be. And then if I use that to do the twist here, have the pink up here. So it's so interesting to try and figure out. How to make everything line up how I want it to. Like that. This is this is getting close over here. It's not going through twice at the moment, but that that can be fixed. Ooh, ooh, this feels good. This feels good on this side. Now, whatever I did on this side, I just need to do it on this side, and I'm sad. I'm just gonna try and make it symmetrical. Okay, this is... a little too far back. Hold on, let me use that again. Pop you up here for now. Let's bring this, like, right back down here. This is... it's getting close! <gasps> Will this do it? It It works! It works! I did it! It's a little messy. It's not super symmetrical. But I did it! It was the shape I thought. Ah, oh, the satisfaction of when it works out properly is very nice. Hold on, I did make a little button to hide my paint window, didn't I? Did I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I do that now, because it would be nice to be able to hide that when I need to. I'm so sure I made one. Did I not? Oh, I did! I did! I just put it somewhere silly on my stream deck. <laughs> Oopsie. I do have a button for it. There it is. 
There we go. Also, Space Dinosaurus, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Yeah, I I love the the ambience in this music. In this in in this whole game, like all of the music ambience is so relaxing. It's such a calming game. It's really nice. Even when I'm even when I don't know how curves work. <laughs> Ooh. This is interesting. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an interesting shape. Let's just start like this, and then we're like two down to three, round to four. Over to five, down to six, up to seven again. Like this. Look, I I, I got this one. I got it. I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. I know how curves work now. Yeah, look at that. It's like a pretzel. Oh, I'm clipping that. That's fine. Make it wider. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's so cute. That's like it's like a like a heart with a star inside it. That one was so much more straightforward to me than the other one. Oh. Oh, this one is so interesting. This one has loads of points that you need to go through twice. But it's only got two numbered ones. So I think I just have to, like, follow this path and then make the path back again. I think I just, I just make this like little snaking path and then I just copy it and go through it again. Oh. I'm missing a point if I want to do it this way. Okay. Mm. Hmm. If I had another point, it would make this very easy, but I do not. Yeah, I don't have enough points if I just want to like manually do it this way. Oh, so I'm gonna have to... How do I, how do I figure this out? Because it seems so straightforward to just do it this way, but it, I don't have enough to make that final curve if I do it like this. So how else could I do it? If I can figure out a more efficient path to to get the doubles with less with less anchor points needed. Cause I just wanted to make the snake. I don't think I do that. I think it's gonna require some loops. Because making a circle all the way around would use less points than doing curve and curve and curve. Hmm. I think I have an idea. I think we start the same way up here, but then at this point we start going around to here. Hmm, I'm gonna just try things. And oh, you're gonna lurk because you need to focus on code and you're getting distracted by puzzles. <laughs> very, very understandable. Thank you for the lurk. I hope the coding goes well. we do this like this I'm not going through them twice though is the problem I'm only going through that one twice the rest I'm, I'm only going through them once this is worse <laughs> hmm. <gasps> wait unless I do a full loop I do a full loop 
the way around. And around, like, again. Hmm. It might be to do with, like, the curve points. Hold on, I'm... I'm gonna move everything out of the way. Let's put a little circle up here. You, you have a little... Have a little spin. Have a little spin in your corner. There you go. Little loop. <laughs> right. I think this is a... Another paint window experimentation moment. Wait, I'm, I'm getting my use out of the elevator music. <laughs> this is actually the elevator music from a game called Death and Taxes. It's a really, really good game. It's a lot of fun. It's the kind of game where if I hadn't already played it before I started streaming, I would stream it. <laughs> but I've already played it a lot, so it wouldn't be the same experience to, to stream it again. But it's a very good game. Right, but the thing here is trying to figure out how to get them twice. Right, because if we do something like that, there and back, that could work. How could, I wonder if I can get extra loops in here. Like if I go, so if we start here and we go like up, twisty like that, and then figure out another way to get another loop here. Now that this feels, mm. oh, maybe I start in the middle. Oh, if I start in the middle and I go dun, 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 I might have enough points to do it that way? Maybe. I don't know if I will or not. Let's give it a try. I also realized I forgot to actually show the paint window then. Uh, that's what I was doing. I was just drawing a backwards three. <laughs> right, uh... So I think bring these down here, bring these up here, and this one's also in the middle as well. Right, and if we can use these points to make like a... Now I feel like I'd need more points again to do this. I'm. I'm, I'm at the same spot as before. Where I'm, I'm using so many points at this top part here. And in doing so, I don't think I have enough to continue it at the bottom. So I gotta, th there's gotta be a better way to do this. Or maybe like this way. Figure out how to add some more curve points like this. Hmm. Definitely a trickier one now. Oh, Hikari just got to work. I hope you have a good work day. Thank you for stopping in. Hope your work day is easy. Maybe I do just like loads of twisties like this. I'm trying my silly ideas now. By silly ideas, I mean they're probably not all that silly. I'm just moving points around in the hopes it might work. Still only going through them once in the middle though. It's The middle part is the part I'm struggling with here. Cause like we go one, to I can get these twice 
And I can also get these twice. But I can't get these middle ones twice if I do it like this. So is there a way I can... <laughs> what am I doing? What have I made here? What, are, what shape am I creating? I've... <laughs> this isn't quite working. I'm like, can I go like... The fact that there's this red bit in the middle makes me want to go around it. And I, I don't know if that's what I should be doing. I don't, I probably shouldn't be. I don't know what the shape is. What have I, what have I made here? So I'm not sure how to do this with the eight points. It is eight, isn't it? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we got eight points. It feels like it should be so easy. There's only two numbers to go through. But it's so tricky. I'm, I'm gonna do what I did last time and go for opposite. So we'll have like green is by the one and then pink is by the two. And if we keep these here, we know we've got like three in between each one see what I can make with the three points. Can I make that wiggle? I can make the wiggle like this, but then as soon as I start moving these, I think it's going to break the wiggle down here. No, wait, no, this works. Oh, it works. Oh, I got it. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Ah. Oh. Okay, I think I found the strategy. Finding like the midpoints and making sure they're evenly spaced apart. Yeah, I think I got it. And then it goes back through the wall. Yes! It was the backwards three. I did it. So now we've done this section. We've, we've just got this last little bulb left. He, he calling it calling it a bulb because it reminds me of like you know like tulip bulbs like for planting flowers that's what this reminds me of it reminds me of gardening plant bulbs <laughs> right let's move on to here what oh oh my goodness how many times do i have to go through this it's one two three four five six seven Gotta go through that seven times. Okay, well we start with a one. We go through it. We go back. We go through it. We go back. We go through it. We go back. We go to the end. It is like this, but I need to... to make it bigger so they all count so they're all out of it and then back in it I gotta make this little scribble in the middle like that, this should work this should work when I do it the right way around yes it did it looked intimidating but it wasn't actually that bad I just had to scribble. And thank you for the hydrate too. I will have another monster sip. Another sip of my monster. What have we got now? Oh, I tabbed out. Oops. Oops. Where's my... Okay. I lost my window for a second. <laughs> we have so many portals here. Oh, this is a tricky one because they have to be straight lines. So it's about figuring out the path to take to go through these. I think we go eight to one. And two to three. Four to five. Oh, this is actually a really nice one. This actually lines up so nicely. And six to seven crossing through those ones. Look, they just cross over so perfectly. Just line them all up. One, one to two, three to four, 
five to six. I love it. <laughs> Seems like the difficulty curve just moved up. The, is, is this the difficulty curve? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the, this is the last area of the game, so these are the, the hardest puzzles. But uh, I, I do better with the portal ones. I feel like I can visualize the portal ones far easier. Right, so one to two is a straight line, so I think we start with the straight line to go one to two. And then from two we need to go three to four. And we can go through those two. Ooh. Oh, actually, I think we go three to here. Oh, I haven't got that one twice, though. I can get that one with this. And then three to here. And then I think we go four, five, six. With this one to get this point again. I think I got this. I think I got it immediately. I love the portal ones. I'm really good with the portal ones. There, and it goes through them all twice. Except for the tiny dot at the edge, which only needed to go through once. That's a really pretty shape as well. Right, this one. Oh, we've got a single wiggle. This this is a loop. This is basically a loop, but I can break it and it will still go. Right, so where does the break need to be here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is just like a, a spiral going around. It'll be like this. So let's start like this way around. We'll go like seven to six to five to four to three to two to one. This kind of spiral. I missed the four, but I can adjust. That was a pretty good initial estimate of where to put these. I'm quite proud of myself for that one. But this should do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like a little snail. Okay. Okay, onto this one. did it. One hundred percent solve every puzzle. Oh. I do not want to leave it like this. I think this one is make your own beautiful shape. It's not limiting you. <laughs> what kind of shape do I want to make here? Oh, that kind of looks like a uterus. I didn't mean to do that. Oh god, that's, that's not what I want my final shape to be. What shape do I want to make here? I can make anything I want to. But this is a really nice touch for the last level. I love that there's so many rules and instructions for the puzzles, and then the last level is... You know what to do. Make whatever you like. I wonder if I can make a little cat. Make a little cat. Making a little cat blob, look at that! Hold on. There we go, there. Cat blob. Cat blob! There's my final shape. It has cat ears. <laughs> Although now that I look at it like that, it kind of just looks like an open shopping bag. <laughs> oh, 
but there we go. Completed area 11. Oh, and it links, oh. And it loops back around to the beginning. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at this. All the levels I've solved, they, they're looping around. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so pretty. I did all of these. I did all of these levels. This is so nice. This is so nice. What a lovely game. What a great game that was. I, I love that. I kind of want more. I want more puzzles like this. That was really fun. I want I want more puzzles along these lines. That was that was such a joy to play. Just like a really nice experience. Oh, I'm so glad I played that. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I I'm so glad that the like the the developers like promotional team reached out to me to play this. Because I, I, I hadn't heard of this game. I didn't know about this game. And it's very possible I would have just missed it. But uh, I actually got an email with a, a key to play it saying, it seems like it'd be up your alley if you want to play it. If you want to check it out, you seem to like puzzles. And I was there like, yes, I do indeed like puzzles. And so I decided to play it and that that was so worth it. I'm, I'm just going to be gifting that to all my friends now. I feel bad getting it for free because I really enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, it's it's the problem. I get given free keys for games sometimes. And then I play them and then I feel bad that I got the key for free because I enjoy it so much. So I just end up buying the game three times. <laughs> Actually, if if you if you make a puzzle game, I'm probably the best person to send a key to cuz <laughs> cuz your game will get sales. Even if it's just me multiple times. That was so good though. That was that was such a it was just like a really enjoyable experience. Just it's really nice getting a puzzle game that's difficult but not frustrating. Like I would have I, I expected myself to get frustrated with maneuvering the curves, but because the whole game itself felt so relaxed, I didn't feel like that at all. Also, Brisket, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome on in. I just completed Oros. That, that was such a good game. What a lovely game. I'm so glad I played that. And then... Now I can, I can view the whole map. And everything is linked. It, it all links back to the beginning. It's so nice. It's so nice. Such a good game. All right, hold on. I'm I'm, I'm gonna elevate a music for a second while I while I plug the Steam page for this game. <laughs> but this game is so good. Such a nice puzzle experience, and it's also really cheap. It is extremely cheap, considering how nice the experience is. Highly recommended. Please, please check out Auros. This game is really good. But uh, with that, I shall, hold on, close the game. I finished Auros. And um, let me, Wah. let me head over here for a second while I figure out what to do next. I'm not ending the stream. Maybe I should change the music. Every time I hear this music, it makes me feel like I'm about to end the stream. Let's put the elevator music back on. Elevator music? There it is. <laughs> yeah, we're not done yet. We're, we're just finding the next stop. But yeah, it's such a good game. Oh, I'm so glad you got it too. It's it's really, really fun. It's I feel like it's a, a nice, like, meditation kind of feel to it to be honest like it's 
The kind of thing where if you're stressed out, you can just put the game on and wiggle some curves around for a bit, feel smart solving puzzles. Really nice experience. I, I love that. I love that game. Right, what was I going to do? I was going to change my, my stream category to just chatting. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> just catting. Oh, what if I... Hold on. <laughs> they kept it in. Oh my goodness. They kept in the just catting category from April Fool's. <laughs> Wait, this is a just catting stream now. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I set my category to just catting. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should actually have it in the just chatting section, but I just... The fact that that still exists, I love that. That's so good. <laughs> I love that they kept it in. Also, thank you for the dictionary narration redeem as well. We got the letter B. Let me get my dictionary out. Let's see what we got for B. <laughs> Thank you for the dictionary narration redeem. The word we have is bling. Bling, also bling bling. It is an informal noun and it is used to refer to showy expensive clothing or jewelry or the attitudes associated with them. The origin perhaps from the sound of jewelry clashing together. That's what the dictionary says at least. But yeah, bling. Bling bling. Now we know. I, I didn't expect that to be in the dictionary, but in hindsight, it makes sense that it would be. Ah, oh, but yeah, that that was so much fun to play. I I'm glad I got to finish it. And it, it's funny because if I hadn't wasted so much time last week, I I would have finished it last week. I definitely would have. But it's okay. It just means I got to share it with more people because I I stretched it out over two weeks instead. But yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what to do now. My, my plan of action was just chatting to like talk about stuff like Ofkai and the, the Studio Elan Stream Ambassador program and stuff. And then I proceeded to do that with the game open. So my conversation topics, I, I kind of already used them up. <laughs> so now I need to think of something to talk about. Oh, is it writing time? Oh, it could be. It could be writing time. What if I what if I do try and do some writing? Although I I feel like I'm not a very good writer, so <laughs> a little part of me is a, a bit worried about the thought of writing on stream. But uh, it's it's kind of funny because when I was playing Twofold, I did actually start writing the story from from Millie's prompt of the the knight and the princess in the tower, but with a twist. But all I've done is like the introductory paragraphs. I've, I've done none of the actual story part. <laughs> so maybe I could do that. Uh, another thing I was thinking of as well, just for a little bit of sillies. Um, I, I have recently started playing Neopets again. And I could I could do my, my Neopets dailies. And maybe check out some of like the old Neopets games. It's so funny, I, I, I came back to Neopets just because I heard a load of stuff was changing and I was like, I, that'd be nice, that'd be a nice thing to do for half an hour before I go to sleep. And I haven't checked out any of the old games. However, they have adapted a lot of the Flash games with something called uh, Ruffle? I think it's called Ruffle. But it basically means that all of the old Flash games are playable in the game, which is which seems like it could be very funny <laughs> to check out all of the old Neopets Flash games. I don't even remember most of them. I remember Mirka Chase because that was just Snake. I remember uh, I remember Cast Basher because it would save your progress and then one time my cookies got deleted and it, I lost my progress and I got mad because I couldn't get easy Neopoints. <laughs> What else even is there? We could check it out. I mean, you could play Four Second Firestorm and whack your boss. I, I I don't know. It's like they've specifically adapted the games on Neopets with Ruffle. I think if there are Flash games, that they're, they're not just like automatically playable now. 
you just they still need to be like adapted with this thing but i'm i'm not entirely sure <laughs> but no, no I, I know the neopets games work because i I've, I've played fashion fever if anyone doesn't play neopets uh fashion fever is a neopets dress up game and it's also the easiest way to just get 900 neo points every day because you just start the game end the game send your score and you get 300 points <laughs> so nobody actually plays the game everyone just uses it for free neo points and free game send the scores but it but that could be funny i could i could show you my neo pads hold on why am i like looking off to the side constantly give me a second this might look weird still looking to the side. I don't know why I'm looking to the side so much. What have I done? I'm not I'm not I'm not looking to the left constantly. What is happening? Uh give me a second. I'm just going to figure out why my my eyes are drifting. <laughs> what have I done? Um 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 try something did that fix it oh okay that fixed it that fixed it i'm i'm looking oh i'm still slightly looking to the side i don't know what's going on i'm gonna blame my iphone for this uh, i i recently um i changed my my pc setup like my desk space setup and ever since i have everything's been like a little bit wobbly and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. It's a good scapegoat. Yeah, and also I don't know what's happened. I I recently like I installed an update on my iPhone, and ever since then, it my iPhone will not trust my computer anymore. Every single time I turn it on, I have to tell it to trust my computer again. It won't remember that my computer is trustworthy. Every single time, it's just like we don't know what this device is. Do you trust it? And I, I trust Nigel. Goodness, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, it's definitely this part. Hmm. Because it, wor it works when I'm looking to the right and left. I'm, I'm just not looking at the camera for some reason. I'm just camera shy, maybe. That's even worse. How's that? Oh, oh, did I fix it? Maybe. Maybe I just need new glasses, honestly. I need new glasses. I, I can't see it properly. There we go. That that's that's better than before, at least. Uh, I don't know what happened. I I I really need to I need to get back around to continuing my my re-rigging of my model because the the rigging I have at the moment it was only meant to be temporary until I could rig it better, and then time ran away and just before you know it I've been using this for like two years. <laughs> so like the temporary rigging was not so temporary. But uh, I, I need to do more work on that. I'm hoping I have more time for it soon. Uh, probably because it's not a Mac. Well, it's just weird because it was fine before. It would remember my PC fine before. But now it's just like every time I turn it on, just... Are you sure you trust this? Can you enter your pin five times? Thank you. <laughs> like, I trust it, please. Okay, I think this is better than before, at least. Hold on. Hello. Hi. I 
I'm still looking a little bit off, but it, it's fine. But uh, I think I think also the problem as well is that I have a really cheap iPhone. <laughs> like the iPhone I have, I don't even remember which one it is. It's I got it very cheap. I got it very cheap because the battery life was playing up and the person who was selling it was like, you can have it cheap because you have to, it loses its charge very quickly. But that's not a problem for me because I just keep it plugged in when I'm using it because I don't use it as a phone. I just, I, it's purely my, my tracking device. <laughs> but it's also a really old one. It's like one of the first ones that actually has the, the face ID. So knowing Apple, they're probably going to brick it with an update soon. <laughs> So I could do with getting a better one, but that is expensive. And ah, oh, speaking of updates breaking things, your entire work day today was reinstalling software that was balked by a Windows update. Oh no, the worst feeling. That happens to me so often. I, I feel like whenever there's a, a Windows update, it always breaks all of the audio on my computer. And I have to reinstall and reroute all of my audio stuff. And it is such a pain. I don't know why Windows updates just break my audio like that. <laughs> but it's but it's kind of like it's it's it is better to be updated. I just I always wait to update with a Windows update for a day when I'm not planning on streaming or doing anything on my computer because then it gives me time if things go wrong. But yeah, I'm hope I'm hoping to get the re-rigging done this year. I I really would like to have like my re-rigged model done this year. I just need the time to do it, and the time is the problem at the moment. <laughs> because live 2D stuff is it's mostly just really time consuming. There's a lot of time consuming elements to it. And when I was rigging this model, I did things I did a lot of things wrong, quote unquote. Uh, I did things in a way that like they technically work, but there are better and more efficient ways of doing it. And I know that now. So I, I've been using that for my re-rigging and it won't be a problem anymore. But yeah, it's, it's just having time to finish it all. <laughs> like when it's done, I'll be able to like nod and shake my head properly. Cause at the moment I kind of, I can only lean a little bit. I can't really like nod or shake my head, but that will be, that will be fixed soon. Hopefully soon, hopefully this year, we'll see. But yeah, it's a shame because there's so many things I want to do. There's so many things that I would love to do. Uh, I was reached out for the, the VTuber Summer Slam again this year to do another charity stream, but because I'm so busy, I, I, I had to say no because I, I wouldn't have the time and energy to put into a charity stream in a way that I feel would be deserving of the charity. So when that happens, I'm just going to be linking everyone to my friends who are taking part. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so weird to be busy. So weird to be busy and not have much to actively show for it yet because I have so much stuff. There's so much stuff cooking. I've I got so much stuff in progress. I just don't have the, the finished goods to share. Ah, uh, your audio was broken when you got the PC cheap. Then a few months later, your GPU cooked itself. Oh no. No, that's so painful. And the GPU is like the one of the worst parts to go. It's... Uh, that's such a pain. Oh, I hope you, I hope you can get a, a replacement at some point too. But that's not too expensive. Yeah, I'm, I'm very lucky that, touch wood, fingers crossed, uh, my PC's been very well behaved. Like ever since the power supply died, <laughs> when I started having the power issues, I've got a new power supply in now and my computer is so much quieter and it's working so much better. And everything else, fingers crossed, does seem to be working as it should be. So I'm praying I don't have computer problems. But my, my eternal problem is always audio. It's like, I feel like I'm, I'm super picky with audio and I can never get it how I want it. Like I, I'm still not at a point where my audio settings are as I want them. <laughs> but it's the kind of thing where, like, especially with things like EQing, it's the kind of thing where you need to dedicate a, a solid chunk of time to just trying things out and making notes and figuring out what makes it sound better or worse. 
It's uh, it's it's like the, it's like the glasses thing. Like if you go to an optician and they're like, they put the lenses down. Is it's like, is this better or worse? You kind of have to do that with audio too. You listen to it and you're like, is that better or worse? And it's 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 a whole it's a whole ordeal. It's a whole challenge. Yeah. Oh, you replaced it with a tablet because it was used for web browsing anyway. Oh, that makes sense then. There's some really good tablets on the market now as well. Like, they're so powerful. <laughs> so many powerful tablets. See, I'm the kind of person where I, I use my PC for so many things. I would not be able to function without a PC. Like, if if my PC stopped working, I I would cry. <laughs> And I'd still be okay because I have a laptop, so I could still technically use my laptop. But I, with, without a computer, I, I wouldn't be able to do anything. <laughs> All the stuff I do is based around my computer. Which is probably bad thinking about it, but it's okay. It's all right. Right, do, do I want to do some Neopets? I, I, since I mentioned it, I kind of want to do some Neopets. Oh, Neopets could be fun. Just checking out the games. Seeing how, how well they've aged. I don't think they're going to have aged well. Oh, do I? Do I, don't I? See, th this is why I always have a plan when I'm doing streams. Because if I don't have a plan, I kind of just sit here like, oh, what am I doing? I think I could Neopets. I think Neopets could be funny. Hold on. Is there a Neopets category on Twitch? There is! Oh my goodness! There's Neopets browser as a category. There's a Neopets category on Twitch. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm going to play Neopets. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'll leave the elevator music on because there's not really background music in Neopets. Right, let's see if this works. Blah. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my Neopets stream. This is my Neopets account. Um... I may have gotten sad earlier in the month and bought a month of Neopets Premium. So I have... So I have like eight pets now. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I'd forgotten that Neopets existed. And then I don't remember exactly what happened, but I remembered hearing that... Like, because it got sold off to a company. And then as soon as it got sold off to the company, everything just started breaking and going wrong but i think i could be wrong on this i could be completely wrong i think the original owners or some of them some of the original team managed to get neopets back and they're trying to like fix it and make it work again and it's really interesting because they've got this whole new layout for the website but it only works on some pages like if you go to the bank I can go to the bank. The website is very slow sometimes. Extremely slow. Extremely slow. Right, uh, let's open my inventory. Oh, nothing's loading. The website is so slow. <laughs> yeah, one of the main problems is that Neopets basically used to be instant. You click a link and you end up there. Ever since I came back, it is very slow sometimes. Sometimes it loads normally, and then other times you click a link and you kind of have to just wait five seconds and then click it again if it doesn't work. Uh, it's incredibly slow. It's just straight up not loading at the moment. I wonder if it's because I'm streaming as well. I wonder if it's struggling to load because of the internet. Oh no, it loaded my inventory! There we go! So it's like, if you look at things like the inventory, this is like the new Neopets layout. They've got like a nice little top bar with little drop-down menus. 
I've got a little sidebar for notifications and stuff. But then sometimes you'll click a link and you'll end up back on the old site. Anyway, let's do Trudy's surprise. Maybe. It might load one day. But yeah, it's really funny because I... I, I just kind of found one of my old accounts on a whim. And I was just like, well, it seems like a nice little time waster. And I've, I've ended up like logging in daily for like three weeks now. <laughs> hey, we got two matches. I got 19,000 Neo points. That is very nice. But yeah, sometimes you'll be here and it's like the new website. It's got the new layout. It's got the little top bar. And then other spots. I think the safety deposit box is the old site. So if I click safety deposit box, yeah, this is the old Neopets layout. <laughs> well, th this one is, um, I've got like a custom Valentine's theme that I unlocked. But yeah, this is the old Neopets layout. So it's different at the top. It's, it's not as like modern looking. But then like if I, if I press back again, If I press back again, it takes forever to load. Uh, welcome to the contents of my safety deposit box. I'm currently trying to get the the pack rat avatar, <laughs> where I need a thousand unique items, but every time I start, I buy like 10 items and then I get bored. So I'll get it eventually, but it, but not yet. Oh, it's just not loading. There we go. I press back, we're back on the new website with the, the new layout. But it's been really nice coming back though, because Neopets, it used to be like a really big part of my life. I used to play a lot of Neopets. <laughs> I have really fond memories of being a teenager, being stressed out at school and going on Neopets and I w doing the, the Altador plot. Altador, Altador? Whatever. Anyway, uh, here's my, my profile page when it eventually loads. So I can show off my trophies. <laughs> I, I added jumping. But uh, these are my Neopets. I love them. Uh, I, I made these two on a whim recently. And here are my trophies. And here, this Royal Astronomer. This trophy was the first time I took part in like a Neopets plot. Like every now and then they'll just do like a, a site-wide event that's usually a limited time event and you you have like little puzzles and trails to follow and figure out what's going on with the story the first one i ever did was the royal astronomer like altador council chamber plot and i remember feeling so proud of myself when i finished that and then they revealed that it's it's a permanent storyline and it's not a time limited plot so the first plot I ever took part in is one that I could roll up and do today if I wanted. <laughs> I remember feeling like genuinely disappointed by that when I realized it. But then I, th I think this was a plot one as well, the Master of Insults. I th what, what was that? I don't remember what that was for. It was something. And um, yeah, the rest is just old stuff. I've not done much of. I've, I've beaten Punchback Bulb. I got champion of uh, Cheat and Go Go Go. I got second place at Sakmet Solitaire. Second place at Pyramid Bonus. I got, a, I got a couple. I got a couple of trophies. And I have 221 secret avatars. But there's like 400 or so now. I, back in the day, I used to be an avatar collector. Nowadays, I look at what you need to do to collect the rest of the avatars, like filling out the stamp albums, which have stamps worth like 10 million Neo points. And I simply look at them and I decide not to. <laughs> but yeah, I also have a gallery. I've got a, a gallery called Uzuki Land. I, I collect the Uzuki dolls. And I've got quite a few of them at the moment. I also collect sand. <laughs> Here it is. It's my gallery. Um, I got lots of dolls. I have, I have quite a few. I like them. And I've also got the accessories to go with them. 
And I've also got the little play sets to go with them. I've got like little merch things. I got the books. I got cakes. I got gum. I got posters. And Uzuki nail clippers. There's there's everything for Uzuki in this game. And then I've got sand. The sand collection is. I'm pretty sure that I have more sand things than this. I just can't fit them in the gallery because you have to pay Neo points to expand the gallery. <laughs> and no, no, I'm a cheapskate. But uh, I, I have I have quite a lot of Neo points at the moment. They've made it really nice. Like since I came back to the game, they've added new things. Like they've added daily quests. And the daily quests give really good rewards. Like, it's the easiest things. It's like, purchase an item from a shop, spin the wheel of knowledge, play any game. Well, we'll be doing that. Feed a food item, groom one of your Neopets. Like, they're so easy and they give so much money. And then when you've done all of the daily ones, you get 20,000 Neo points. And then if you do all of the daily ones for seven days in a row, you get a really good reward. My current one is a, a fairy Shoiru morphing potion. Which I think is worth quite a bit. I, wait, I wonder how much it is worth. Let's go check the trading post. Let's go see what, what people are asking for for this. Find those trades. Eventually. It is loading. Yeah. Yeah, like 1.4 million, 1.5 million. Yeah, it's... They're quite expensive. I could get a lot of money from that. <laughs> but uh, I've, it's, it's really funny coming back. Because I used to play this a lot. Like, ten years ago. <laughs> and then I, I only came back recently and my account's like 14 years old. But I haven't been actively playing it all that time. But uh, I, I came back to the game and I looked at my bank and I had like 2 million Neo points. And I was just like, whoa, I, I don't remember having that many, <laughs> but I'll take it. Oh, it's so slow to load. It's the, the main pain. I wish the site wasn't so slow to load. That's okay. We're just chilling. I'm going to have some monster. But here I have 4.93 million <laughs> new points at the moment. Oh, let's get my daily interest. Nice! Free money. Like, if, if I can get that up to 5 million, I can- Oh, it's not showing the drop-down menu. But uh, there's an option to, like, upgrade the account. Like, if, if I can get to 5 million, I can upgrade it to Millionaire Mega Platinum account. Instead of just double platinum. And then I'll get more interest. It's a great system, the rich get richer. Ha <laughs> Hmm. But yeah, I, I, I'm saving up saving up so many there's quite a few items I do want to buy in the game but I'm at the point where I I don't want to spend any neo points until I've gotten like the the ultimate riches bank account which is 10 million <laughs> so I'm just saving until then and then when I reach 10 million and I can have the account the account type is that I'm gonna just go wild buying paintbrushes I'm gonna get all of the 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 painted pets that my 14, 15 year old self would have really wanted. But yeah, it's really funny though because this account is 14 years old now. This is not my first Neopets account. It's not even my second Neopets account. This is my third main account on Neopets. Uh, my first account, I made it um, before I was actually old enough to make an account and I put a false age in <laughs> to pretend I was over 13. Uh, my first account, uh, that one got frozen for scamming. And that was because I was about 10 years old and me and all my friends, we all shared our passwords with each other because we were stupid 10 year olds. <laughs> so obviously when everyone knows the password to the accounts, there's a lot of suspicious activity. The Neopets team are going to be like, hold on a second, something's not right here. And they just froze all of our accounts. So then I got really sad and didn't make an account again. Then I made another account 
as a teenager when I was like actually old enough to play it legally, like when I was 13. I made that account and I was super active. I was really, really active. I did so many things on Neopets. I, I had so many cool pets. And then uh, my account got frozen for profanity on the Neo boards. <laughs> because I said LMAO on the Neo boards. And then I got a warning for it. And the warning didn't say what had happened. The warning didn't say why I'd gotten a warning. Or it, it just said for inappropriate Neo board content. So I didn't know what I'd done wrong. So I went back on the Neo boards to complain. I was like, wow, my account just got a warning for profanity, LMAO. And then I did the LMAO abbreviation again. And they outright just froze my account. <laughs> it's so wild to think back on. It's like, ass, the word ass was too profane for Neopets. And I didn't even say the word. I did the, I did the abbreviation. But that was awful. That was terrible for Neopets, apparently. So then my second account got frozen. And I got, like, genuinely upset about it. <laughs> and I did not play Neopets again for, like, another four or five years. And that's when I made this account. I made this account. Uh, I have, My username is uh, Mikune. I, I, I named it after Hatsune Miku. <laughs> The origin of this username is Hatsune Miku. <laughs> that was that was how I got the name, and and then when I, when I was going back to things, I was like, oh, I wonder if I can still get into my old Neopets account. And so I just tried to log in with a bunch of like my old passwords, and one of them was right. I got into my account. I got my old account back after ten years of not playing. And I've just kind of started playing again. It's it's just fun. I I like my pets. I'm I'm a little bit attached to my pets. I like them a lot. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been such a wild journey. My my wild neo pets journey. Just be like, hey, you know you know Liri, that streamer who like basically never swears. Uh, yeah. Did you hear her neo pets account was originally banned for profanity? It's the funniest thing to me. It's it's just so funny. Actually, give me a second. I want to see. Back when it happened, I got really mad and I made a live journal entry. And I think I have a copy of the live journal entry. Um, in my emails because someone replied to it and it shows the post with the reply. And I never delete my emails because I'm, I'm awful. And I, I, I remember making a, a post about it on, on Live John. Oh, here's the post. Here it is. The post here is, it says, uh, take a look at what I got from Neopets. Hi, your account was initially suspended for inappropriate internet acronyms. The account was frozen for the following message after the suspension. LMA 000000. If you have any other questions, don't forget to include the entire text of this email with your username clearly at the top. This will help me better address your situation. And then underneath that, in my live journal post, I posted LOL's WTF as my response to it. <laughs> LOL's WTF is the funniest thing to me. Ah. What else was there? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Th this happened. It happened on Christmas Eve as well. Which really added to like the emotional devastation. Like I was playing Neopets on... And I got f my account frozen on uh, Christmas Eve. <laughs> which was so funny. But no, it was written as like... LOLs. Like LOLs. WTF. Like that. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like the funniest thing to me. But I, I made like a whole little ranty post on live journal and like I, I look back on it and I, I was so devastated at the time but in the post I was trying to appear cool to all of my friends so I, I was I was like very standoffish about it also a vast to the second hello welcome welcome 
Welcome to uh, Neopets. I'm talking about my my Neopets experience, my past existence on Neopets. And uh, the live journal post I made says, "Lol, what? My Neopets account got frozen. Ha 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 ha. What is with that? How mean is that?" <laughs> Profanity. Uh, so much for the Christmas spirit and all that. Sheesh, some people. It's probably for the best anyway, though. I was spending way too much time on there. And now I can actually do something productive with my time, like, uh, blogging. Random note. I'm getting The Sims 2 in, like, five minutes. Haha, <laughs> LMAO, I can't wait. I'm going to make a sim of everyone I know. This icon amuses me way too much. I don't know what icon I was using in the live journal post, but it's so funny to read back on this. Like my old live journal posts, I was I was trying so hard to be cool. I was trying so hard to be cool. That's so funny. Hold on, I wonder- hold on. I don't want to just, like, show my emails, but what if- what if I just, like, copy-paste this into, like, a, a notepad document? Yeah, I can do that. Hold on. <laughs> Who wants to see my- my old life journal post <laughs> from when my Neopets account got frozen? It's so funny, like, the- the thing that gets me the most is how, like, how much my typing style has changed since I was a teenager. <laughs> it's so funny. Hold on, let me make it. I nearly just, like, saved over my, my template for my going live tweets. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Will this work? Will this show? Boop. There it is. This, this was the live journal part. <laughs> And this is exactly how I, I typed it as well. My old live journal post from when I was a teenager upset at Christmas that my Neopets account got frozen. It's so funny to look back on. I kind of wish I still had my old posts. I, I still have my old live journal account, but I deleted all the posts on it because I was embarrassed by them and I wish I hadn't I wish I hadn't because I'd love to go back on them like they are embarrassing and it makes sense for them to be very embarrassing <laughs> but I want to look back on them now because it's hilarious it's so funny it's like I don't know who wrote this Jim. who was this angsty teenager who wrote this <laughs> right it really looks like it was written by somebody else it's it's like everything has changed so much since I was a teenager. This was a really long time ago. This is like longer than 14 years ago. Also, Zarok, hello. Thank you for the hydrate posture check. Jim Jim. Let me have a big stretch. Oh, Jim wrote it? No, Jim Jim wouldn't write like that. Jim is a kind soul. <laughs> Thank you. Add a big stretch. I'm going to have a sip. Have a sip. You know, I probably can find some of my old live journal posts. If I just search my emails for live journal and see what comes up. I may I probably shouldn't be doing this. Oh, everything is just like you've received a virtual gift for your 12th anniversary on live journal. You've received a virtual gift for your 13th anniversary on live journal. Uh, all of these emails. I want to see one of my old posts. My old posts are just so funny. But yeah, it's like being a teenager, really everything was so performative. Like every single thing I wrote online <laughs> when I was a teenager, I was just trying to look cool. I was, I wasn't really like acting like myself. I was like becoming the person I thought was cool. And I, I said like, I said some awful things on the internet when I was younger. I'm like, <laughs> Like, I was, a, I was a very troubled teen. But it is really funny to look back and see how much I've grown more than anything. But, oh, it was a drive-by care package before sleep. Oh, thank you for stopping in. 
I hope you sleep well. I hope you have a good rest. But yes, thank you for, for dropping in with the, the hydrate and posture check. I love how it started with Neopets. Now I'm looking at my old live journal post. What if I search live journal Neopets? Are there any more? Any more posts? Da, 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 da. No. Is this a post? That's somebody else's post I replied to. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is the only post I'm finding for Neopets. What else can I... What else could I search for? What's, like, a keyword I could search for that younger me would have used? What if I just search for lols again? Oh, no, wait, I used lols a lot. What is happening? <laughs> oh, no, uh... What? Hold on. I'm not finding any interesting posts. At the moment it's just a lot of a lot of posts about about K-pop. There's there's a lot of K-pop posts here. I've I've I found like my 2012 life journal era. <laughs> I'm I'm stuck in the trenches of 2012 life journal. Like what else? Give me an interesting post. I want I want to embarrass myself. I want to share my past self. Reply to my entry. Oh, if I search for reply to your entry, then that includes the entry in the email. So I'm gonna use that as a keyword to to search for in my emails. <laughs> reply to your entry. What is this? That is sparkle text. That is bad translations of Japanese games for the win, FTW. Um. Oh, I found all the really emoners. Oh. I don't want to post the emoners because it's 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 very a uh, teenage melodrama. It's meh. But it's so funny knowing that these exist. Oh, although there is there is an entry, I'm just gonna post like a single line from it. This entry, this is still something I would say to this day. It's it just says that it just says ah my kicks life. <laughs> That's still the kind of thing I would say nowadays. But the thing that amuses me the most is that all of these have perfect capitalization and punctuation. Whereas nowadays, I, I just kind of, I, I don't care about capitalization or punctuation. And it's really interesting, looking back. Oh, th this one is just, this is a list of me being emo and listing things I hate. But it's the funniest thing because the first line is just this. It just says, things I hate, pretty much all fandoms, Homestuck, K-pop, anime in general. <laughs> what happened? What happened to me then? <laughs> what happened back in um, December 2011? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, and, and this one is like, you can tell I'm having a bad time because I don't capitalize it. It's <laughs> oh, wow. I thought some of these posts were completely lost to time. Oh, and then it's the, the absolute juxtaposition. I look at that post. It's the, like the most depressing stuff imaginable. And then I look at the next post in my emails a couple days later, and it's just me talking about how much I love M Black, the K-pop group. Like... <laughs> just a post about how much I love M Black. That's so funny. What happened? 
happened? Where's the end black post? I, I just clicked off it again. I want to I wanna share that one. It's funny. Where are you? Where are you? Of all the groups, end black. I've lost the post. Uh, let me let me search specifically M Black. I spelt it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Th oh no! This was earlier in the year. I I don't know how to read time. funnier looking back on it this is this is i i need to share this just because this was when i was trying to convince myself i was straight as a little bit of backstory i uh, <laughs> i i went through like a period of time where i went uh being gay is too difficult I'm gonna make myself straight. Um, spoilers, it didn't quite work. I, 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 I pretended, but I, I was not. <laughs> I was very much not straight. But it's so funny looking back on this now, because it's just this, this entry about M Black, and it's, nah. And it's so funny. <laughs> Here it is, oh M Black, I've missed you. I wasn't sure what to think of this song to begin with, but now I am sure that I love it. Baby, say yes. Baby, say yes. Mona Lisa got in da 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 da. I still remember the song too. It's a good song. But here, it's so funny here. It's like, this video has completely skewed my bias list though. It might just be the sexy hair, but I'm finally realizing how attractive Sung Ho is. And Ji Ho, oh snap. Mir and June, my usual biases on the other hand, uh, sad face. Sorry guys, not with those hairstyles, guess I just love the emo fringes. And regarding Thunder, what the heck is he wearing at the start, towards the end on the rooftop? Looks like he's wearing a skirt! <laughs> it's so funny! But yeah, it's like, I, I had so many friends I would talk about K-pop with. And, like, I, I love a lot of the K-pop boy groups. So I would just pick a member and I'd be like, oh yeah, I, I love him, he's he's so sexy, this one's my favorite. But I, I was never actually like attracted to them in that sense. It was more like I recognized they were attractive. It's like, it's really easy to tell when someone's attractive, like even if you're not personally attracted to them. Like I can, I can look at people and go, oh yeah, that's an attractive guy but I'm not attracted to them. But I would like pretend, I'd be like, oh yeah, I, I really, I love him so much. But it was just, <laughs> it was just me trying to, trying to convince myself I wasn't gay, but I'm, I'm, I'm very gay. I, I could not, I could not convince myself otherwise. I tried. People say being gay is a choice. It, it is, it, I, I, it, <laughs> I tried, it was not. But it's so funny to look back on now. Because there were so many things, like, I would... Whenever I'd get into a group, I would pick a random member who I'd look at and be like, yeah, I can recognize they're attractive. And I would then pretend that I was really attracted to them. <laughs> but it's... But it, I, feel, I feel like it's nicer nowadays, because I'm, I'm more at a spot now where... Like, I'm comfortable saying, oh yeah, I, th I think this guy's the most attractive in this group. Like, but I, I'm not attracted to any of them. <laughs> but it's it's really funny looking back on. Oh, so funny. I'd, I'd forgotten all about all these posts. This is, this is a gold mine. I need to sort through this at some point. I need to do like a, a Teenage Leary cringe stream where I just share a bunch of my old posts. Like, I'll curate them. <laughs> Oh, it's so fascinating to think back on as well, though. I, I love looking back on it and just being like, who, who is that? Who is she? I don't know who, who the girl who wrote this is anymore. I'm such a different person now. But it's, it's very funny. But yes, anyway, I was, I was talking about Neopets. I love how I ended up 
in the live journal tangent. <laughs> but yeah, all of this stuff, just to say this is my third Neopets account, and it's 14 years old. But I'm glad I I'm glad I remembered the login for this one so I could come back to this account and I didn't have to start from scratch. It's very nice. Okay, oh, can you just say, <laughs> you love that I have a community where sharing embarrassing teenage stuff is such a comfy experience. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing though. It's like, I think about like the stages of my life and it's like, I had the moment when this was my life and then I had a moment where I was growing up a bit and I was embarrassed by it and I tried to wipe it from history. And now I've I've gone like full circle and I'm like, it is embarrassing, but I love it. I love it. Like that's, it's part of my like character progression. If if I hadn't been through that stage, then I, w I wouldn't be the person I am today. It's, it's, it's all stuff that adds up and I'm not ashamed of it. I just love to look at it and have a little giggle at how different I am. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Shame shared is shame halved. Well, it's, it's like I'm not even ashamed by it. I just find it kind of funny. I just, I just think it's funny how, like, you, you, could, you would look at that post and I would probably be the last person you would think of who could have written it. But no, that was, that was like teenage self. Back when my bedroom was painted red and black and I went to go see Alkaline Trio in concert. Good times. I still, I still love Alkaline Trio. What was I even going to do though? Oh yeah, let's check out the games. Let's see. I, I don't even know if these are going to work properly, but I want to give it a try. I think it would be funny. Wait for them to load. Look, Neopets classic games. Click here to play. Go to all the Neopets classics. It's interesting because some of them, some of them are still the old Flash games. And then other ones, they've like redone them. Like they've, they've like remade the games using something that's not Flash. So I, I don't know like which is which. I, I don't know which games are the adapted ones or not. Uh, what, what should I start with? Oh, why is it? <laughs> it's recommending I just do a, a Rudoku. I wanted to do like the fun flash games. I, I do like the idea of doing a, a Sudoku, but oh, here we go. Popular. Let's let's try a Mika Chase. I remember playing this back in the day. I remember having a lot of fun with Mika Chase. It's just Snake. It's just Snake, but with Megs and Mika. Oh wait, no, before I do, Fashion Fever. Fashion Fever, let me demonstrate the best Neopets game. It might load eventually. Maybe. Maybe I should just open everything in different tabs because it's taking so long to load. I could just leave them to load in the background while I do other things. <laughs> oh, why is it taking so long? Okay. Okay, it's loading. Fashion Fever. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for the best Neopets game? Eventually. This is like quality gameplay. This is the pinnacle of Neopets Flash games. It's taking so long to load. <laughs> here we go. Ruffle. Yeah, this is a Flash game that's been adapted. Here we go. Do you want to know how people play this game? Start game, end game, send score. 300 Neo points. It's that easy. Oh, it's not letting me click restart game. Hold on. The restart game button isn't working. <laughs> we refresh. Time to refresh the page. The button doesn't work. But no, you can do that three times a day. You just click to start, click to end, send the score, and you get 300 Neo points. Three times a day. 
Oh, it's, it, the page isn't reloading now. <laughs> the restart game button doesn't work and the page isn't reloading. Oh, this is... This is the peak Neopets experience. It's a shame the site is so slow. I miss, I miss the Neopets golden era. I have so many fond memories playing this. I love Neopets. <laughs> it looks like it's once per day now. No, I will get my three plays. I will get my three plays of Fashion Fever. It really is taking forever to load. Makes me wonder if it is because I'm streaming at the same time. If it's struggling because of my internet connection to load things. That's really interesting to think about. But yeah, mostly, like, some of the things they've added have been really nice. Like, the daily quests are a lovely addition. It's gotten me coming back to the, the site every day. Uh, the slow loading times, not as fun. But uh, usually when I'm doing Neopets, it's like, I'll, I'll be doing something else and I'll just have Neopets open in a different tab to do, like, my daily things. Right, let's actually have a look this time. What do we got here? Change character. Oh, look at them. There's three characters. Let's do this one. Can we not remove the hair? They have to have hair. They have to have hair. That's slightly horrifying. Let's, let's make you blonde. What's that? Oh, Starry! All right, we've got a, a blonde, starry Akara? I think it's an Akara. I think it is. All my pets aren't Aishas, so I, I have no idea. Uh, right, what hats have we got? Oh, pink. That one, pink. Oh, that that's what I'm talking about. Now we've got the fashion. That's what I'm talking about. 3D glasses, yes. <laughs> What tops have we got? We're going for the pink fluffy one, clearly. Uh, bottoms. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's like two pages. Let's have the flowery skirt. I like that. We could go for the red one with the pink trim, but I, I like the flowery one. And shoes. Pink fluffy slippers. There. There we go. And we can change the background by clicking. Let's stand in this little patch of flowers. There we go! Fashion Fever actually played. Let me get my free Neo points. Da, 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 da. Success penned in. I love that it's missed off the G in pending. Yeah, the restart button just isn't working, so I guess... I guess we're refreshing the page again. <laughs> just to get my last 300 Neo points. And then we can look at the other games. I don't even remember a lot of them. Like, I, I look at the, the names of the games. I genuinely don't remember what they are. Or if I've even actually ever played them. Like, what what is Crisis Choreo? What is that? I've never played that. National Neopian. Can you survive a hectic day as a cashier? That sounds awful. Let's play it. Oh, Splatter Sloth is the worst because my my reaction times are terrible. And I can never get a score in it. Right, come on. Let me be free of fashion fever, please. I'm waiting. I'm waiting so patiently. The music fits perfectly. The music fits so perfectly for this. We, we really are just stuck in like a a waiting scene. <laughs> ah, Neopets. I did it! I got my three plays! We've got 900 Neo points. Just from clicking those buttons. It took a while, but we got there. Also, it's 8am in Neopets time. Is there anything important at... Hold on, I wonder if the Snowager is awake. I must check now. Sorry, I know we were going to play games. I'm trying to remember the times that the Snowager is awake. And I think one of them may be 8am. Is it top of the mountain? 
top of the mountain to you. Oh no, it's the ice caves. It's the ice caves. I'll get there eventually. There, the snow edger. No, no, he's awake, okay. Never mind, it was worth a check. Yeah, Neopets is in California. Yeah, it, Neopets is, it's it originally based, like the team were like all based on the West Coast of the US. So the Neopia standard time is Pacific time. <laughs> right, let's, let's play a game. Let's play a classic game. What should we play? I also don't know if these have music or not. If they do, we might get jump scared a little bit. Ah, oh, it's taking so long to load. Everything, what game, what game to play? I wanna play Mirka Chase. I wanna play Mirka Chase again. I played it like once since returning to the site. And I haven't played it again since. So I I wanna I wanna try that out. See if I still got it. See if <laughs> See if I can still get a, a decent score. I I don't think I will be. I don't even know what my high score is. Hold on, while that's loading, I'm gonna load my profile in another tab. This might just make both of them not load. But it's worth a try. Okay, my profile is loaded. Let's go to my games played list, because this shows the highest scores I've ever gotten in my Neopets career. Oh, there's quite a few games on here, actually. I don't even rem remember playing some of these. What is Top Job? What is that? I have no idea what that even is. Nickelodeon's Big Green Help Trivia, what? NC Shopping Race ad. Um, apparently I've got a really good score on that. Uh, I don't know what half of these are. This is so funny. Oh, Mirka Chase. I've got 544 points as my high score. Let's see if I can beat that. I don't think I will. I love how it says here, this month 120, because I played it once to see what it was like. And then I was like, nah. I don't know if this is gonna have music or not. <laughs> oh wait, but I can I can use my I can use my high score list as a way to find games. Cause I can click on the things to get to the Wait, build a bear workshop paparazzi. <laughs> what is that? What is that? And big time rush crowd patrol. <laughs> oh, they got some great games in here. I love how my high score for Bilge Dice is minus 10 points. I'm, I'm so good at that game. Really great with that. It's not loading. Please, I want to I wanna play game. I want to play Neopets. Okay. I just had to plead. I just had to plead and it led me. Oh, it's, it's been so fun, like, revisiting Neopets, though. And seeing how much has changed. Like, I remember when I played Neopets for the first time, getting something like a fairy paintbrush felt impossible to me. Whereas now I've gone back into the game, I've been playing for like a month, I've already made a couple of million. <laughs> I'd be able to buy, buy a fairy paintbrush within a few weeks. I, oh, here it is. Make a chase two, classic. Old school Mirka chase. Uh, move in any direction. Oh no, I hate that one. Maze. Run into the hedges. Let's go classic. Let's go classic and let's let's go hard. I'm not a wimp. I'm not a wimp. We're going hard. Okay, I'm ready. Background color. Let's go teal. Press space to start the game. I'm ready. Wah. Wow. That's mean. That's that's such a mean one for the third one to appear. Uh, that didn't count. 
Here we go. I'm not. Re I'm really not very good at these kind of games, but it's okay. Oh, oh! I got a blue one. I got a blue one. Oh, oh, oh! My keyboard feels so loud playing this. I'm, uh, I, <laughs> I'm getting distracted by how loud my keyboard is. Oh wait, I got. <laughs> I got 120 again. That's what I. That's what I got in my single play earlier in the month. I'll send that. How many Neo points? 166. That's not bad. I'll take that. Free Neo points. And the restart button still does not work. So let's try another game. Let's try a different one. I want like a clicky one. I want one where I can control it with my mouse and not my keyboard. Ah, uh, what a. Hmm. What is National Neopian? I want to see what this is. Trouble. Oh, it's Trouble at the National Neopian Bank. I have this on my high score list. So I have played it before. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, maybe I could do this. To control the security system, you must use the keyboard. Uh, SDF is the doors to the left, and JKL are the doors to the right. Hmm. Let's try this. It is another keyboard one. And I will have to press space, and my space bar is quite loud. But it's okay. <laughs> I really need to get, like, a, a, a quieter keyboard. I want to get, like, a silent keyboard. Just, like, the, the really, like, creamy clicks. Super, super quiet. Because my current keyboard is very, it's very pingy. It's very loud. But I, I haven't gotten around to looking into that more yet. Okay, but here you are. What if louder keyboard? Um, I, I really like how loud keyboards sound. I would not be able to deal with it. I would rather get quieter keyboard with nice sound and then put mic closer to it. <laughs> That's what I'd rather do, because my keyboard at the moment is it's really loud. But not in like a nice way, it's in like an annoying way. But I, I do I do love a bit of keyboard ASMR. But I wanna get one with like the really like the smooth like like I don't know how to I feel like I see people describing it as creamy. Which feels like a really weird word, honestly, but like the creamy clicks, like that feels so smooth and nice to me. I want I want a keyboard that sounds like that. Here we go, it's loading! Yes! Right, let's save the bank from being robbed. Let's see if I can beat my all-time high score of 313. <laughs> wow, the top scores are like in the thousands. Oh god, that's a bit loud. Let me just turn that down a bit. That's very loud. There we go. That's a bit more reasonable. That is really annoying. Wow. Right, what if I just zoom in the page? Because it's so small as well. Because it's the old site layout, so everything is very small because it was made for, like, monitors of the size uh, 1024 by 768. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit easier. Just make zoom in on everything. This is really annoying. I'm turning it down a bit more. There we go. That should be okay. Right, let's let's try trouble at the Neopian National Bank. Instructions. Yes. Uh, SDF are the doors on the left. JKL are the doors on the right. Uh, only press the security system when you see a robber, or you'll have to pay a fee or even lose a life. You'll recognize the bad guys by their wanted poster below. Okay, so it's just the ones that look evil. Uh, 
Turn the Neo points in the bank into gold bars by pressing the space bar. One gold bar is worth 100 Neo points. Do not press the space bar if your balance is less than 100, it'll cost you Neo points. Okay, this feels like it's going to be another reflex based one. So I don't think I'm going to do great, but I will try my best. All right. I'm ready. Nope. 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 Oh, you can come in. You can come in. Yeah, you can come in. Hi. Oh, not you. Don't you steal my stuff. Nice. I can tell this is going to get a lot faster. Okay, we're on level two now. <gasps> Hello. Yes, please give me all of your lovely money. I will look after it. I keep forgetting which button is for which door now. Th this is the real problem. Like they're appearing at the J door and I haven't pressed J yet. So I'm like, wait, where am I? Where are my fingers? What am I pressing? Nope, not you. Come on, give me, it's got a hundred. Yes, we got a gold bar. It's safe. The money is safe. Oh, you you have, I, I nearly, I nearly just locked that work person out. The, the business neopet with the stack of papers. I nearly just went, no, you're not allowed in here. <laughs> oh, not you. Hi. You haven't tried to steal from me yet. Oh. Not you. There's still no music in the actual game, though. I should have left the elevator music on. Oh, wait, I can make another gold bar. There we go. Nope. Oh, oh, I think that was just a guy, actually. I think that was just a guy. Ah, uh, no, they stole my money. I pressed the wrong button. No, that wasn't just a guy. That that was a sneaky one. Oh, okay, game over. Money got stolen. What did I get? 215. That'll do, that's a decent score. <laughs> Oh, this this music is so much. At first I was like, oh no, I, I didn't mean to lock that person out. I'm, I'm like... Stereotyping. <laughs> and then he came in again and stole my money. <laughs> I'm too trusting. Right, what else should I try? What? Oh, I could do ice cream machine. I remember ice cream machine. Ice cream machine is a, a mouse based one. Like it's moving the mouse around to avoid things. I like ice cream machine. Oh, while I wait for the page to load, I have to, no, I'm closing it. I'm opening it in another tab so I don't have to keep listening to that banjo music. <laughs> ah. Okay. I like, I like the ice cream one. I like ice cream machine. I feel like that's gonna get stuck in my head now. I'm so mad. I'm not actually mad. Okay, my high score in this one is 4510. That seems like a decent score. Seems like a good score. I I think I was good at this one. I, I feel like I remember being good at this one. We'll see if I actually am very soon. <laughs> I say very soon, maybe, maybe not super soon. When it eventually loads. One day, here it is, okay. This one has music. Ice cream machine. This one. This one's easy to remember. This one is just like, avoid the scoops of ice cream unless they're special ones. Then you can eat them. It is a little loud, hold on. That's a bit better. 
I definitely want it. I want it more like background music level, because otherwise, that is a lot. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Ha ha. I'm a master. Hey, that's a special one. I eat it. That's a special one. I eat it. I go smaller. I get the smaller power up. Ready for the next level. This one, that's special. I eat it. Oh no, I made, oh, I made them slower. No, that's good. That's a good one. It's like most of the power up, like most of the special ones just give you a bonus. But this one gives you an extra life. That one makes you bigger. I don't want that. But there's also one that makes you smaller so you can weave in and out a bit more. That one makes it slower, which is easier. And there's also a plus one which makes it faster, which is more difficult. Also, random guy, hello! Welcome back! Welcome, you joined at a great time. I'm playing Neopets Splash Games. <laughs> welcome, welcome to, to Neopets. I'm playing Ice Cream Machine. Let me see how well I can do. Oh, clears the screen. Don't want them to be faster, so I'm not going to pick that up. Ooh. It's getting a bit trickier now. I like this one. Extra life, yes! Fish. Cherry. Oh, I missed the cherry. I was too slow. I was being too cautious. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Zuhima. <laughs> So hope I do good. Thank you. I hope I do good as well. It's mostly just fun to revisit these games. I've not played these in years. Good times. Good times. Oh, couldn't join earlier because you were at uni. Because you were at uni or you were at uni. Well, either way, I hope you learned lots. <laughs> right, we're on the mint level. Oh, no, I wanted the smaller one. Ah. Oh. I got myself stuck on the other side. I couldn't pick up the, the tiny boost. I don't want it to be faster. I don't want to be bigger. Because, like, if you make yourself bigger, it gets harder to miss the scoops. If you make it faster, it's just more difficult in general. So... Slower. Yes. Slow down a bit, please. Thank you. So some of them you don't actually want to collect unless you really like making things difficult for yourself. We're on Blueberry. Oh. Honestly, playing this brings back so many memories. I have so many memories of playing this game. I think this is one of the ones I used to play the most. I'd, I'd play this one. I'd play uh, Ultimate Bullseye as well. I played a lot of that. What else was there? I didn't play much, uh... I didn't play much Mirka Chase, but I did play it from time to time. What else is there? What else did I play? Oh, there was one that's like... There was one that was like a, a puzzle game. It was like a fairy, fairy cave puzzle game, and you had to figure out the path to the exit whilst using items in the right order to get through a maze. I've forgotten what it's called, though. But I did play that one a lot. Oh, it's so fast now. Slow down, please. Thank you. Even after getting the slow down one, they're still really fast. Oh, 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 oh. Shield. No, I made myself bigger. No. No, this is awful. I don't want to be big. Shield me. Make me smaller. There we go. Okay. Whew. Oh. No, it got me. Oh, I wasn't ready. No, I wasn't ready. No. Oh, this is so bad. This is the end. This is the end for me. I, I wasn't ready. I didn't expect it to just jump right back in. That was on me. I should have been prepared. No. <laughs> oh, no. I, oh, it's fine. Just just end me. Just end me. I'm, I'm done with this one for now. 3780 though, that's a decent score! 
I'll take that. That's a good 200, 264 Neo points. I'll take it. Also, Gil, hello. Welcome, welcome. Are the Neopets Neopetting today? Um, very slowly, but yes. I'm, I, I, I ran out of things to do. I was, I was going to talk about cool stuff. And then I talked about cool stuff while I was finishing the game I was playing. So I ran out of topics and I was like, what if I just play Neopets? What if I play some old Neopets Flash games for a bit? And the site is so slow. It's loading so slowly. <laughs> but I'm having a great time. I love it. Oh, Bullseye. Bullseye 2. Was it Bullseye 2 I played? Let's see. Also, thank you for the confetti. Okay, please don't spam it. But yay! yay! It's a lot of fun though. I've, I've been having a lot of fun returning to Neopets. I, I started playing it again at the start of the year. <laughs> Just like randomly checking it out. Like, oh, they're trying to fix Neopets? I wonder if I can still log into my old account. And I could. I got my, my 14 year old account. Which is actually my third Neopets account. Uh, I, I went into like my, my sordid Neopets past and my two Frozen accounts before. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I thought it would be fun to to try out some of the Flash games. Also, random guy, please stop spamming in chat as much. Uh, I, I do appreciate the enthusiasm, but I, I see the posture check. I will get around to it when I finish my sentence. Please, please don't spam. Thank you. But yeah, I'm having so much fun with it. It's it's really nice returning to Neopets. Let me have a big stretch. Thank you, Suzume. And sit up straight. There we go. And thank you for the head pat too. But yeah, I've I've also kind of become obsessed again. I I was so obsessed with it when I was younger, and I stopped playing it for like probably ten years. But I've returned to it again and. It's really nice. They've added like daily quests and stuff. It feels like they're genuinely trying to fix the site after everything got destroyed. And it's been it's been really fun having it as like a little daily thing to try out. Just every day I'm just like, oh, what if I just go on Neopets, do my daily quests, get my bank interest, get my free omelette. <laughs> it's been really fun. It's like it's gone to the point where I've I've been enjoying it so much that I um I may I may have I may have bought Neopets Premium for a month to support the site. <laughs> but uh, I I subscribed to the the Neopets like Premium subscription and then immediately cancelled it. <laughs> so I'm only getting the month of it because I was like I'll just do the month. I I won't do the recurring subscription in case I don't end up playing after that month. But I think I'm at the point where I'm going to keep playing it. <laughs> it's really nice. But uh, yeah, the soup fairy is still around. The soup fairy will not give me anything because I am extremely rich. <laughs> I returned with a with a with a nice bank account figure. It's it, it's very slow to load. It takes a long time to load, but it's but it's okay. But it's so funny because some of the parts of the site have been updated to this new layout. It's really nice. It's a really nice little layout. You've got like a little sidebar here. Have your notifications over here. There's daily quests. Little drop downs for all of these categories. It's really nice. But then you go to other pages and they haven't been updated. It's still the, it's still the old layout. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember where it... I think the Soup Fairy is just like Neopia Central? Is she there? She might be here. But oh, oh what pets? Do oh, do you want to see my pets? Shall I do the, the pet tour? I actually had a moment recently where I was, I was lying in bed on my laptop. I couldn't sleep. And I was like, what if I, what if I make like custom profiles for my Neopets? So I've kind of made like a little Neopets family lore story. <laughs> So, like, all of them except for Halstia and Arvola, I only made those, like, a couple days ago. So these two don't have profiles yet. But the others, they all have profiles and, like, what they think about the other Neopets. 
<laughs> I, I went all out on the, the law front. Hold on, let me put some background music on while I... while I demonstrate to my Neopets. Have a nice little bit of elevator music. <laughs> but yeah, it's so funny. I've, I, I'm so attached to them. Right, uh, this is Takaika. The name doesn't particularly mean anything. I just put nice sounding sounds together. And she's, she's my oldest pet. She is uh, 5,100 days old. So she's, she's my oldest pet. And this is her pet page. Let me, let me zoom out a bit so you can see the background. I fully customized it. <laughs> I've been, I've been having a great time. I, I fully customized the page. Here she is. This is Takaika. The rest of the page isn't loading because this isn't loading. So I gotta wait a little bit. I gotta wait. But yeah, she's almost 14 years old. She's the, the first one I made when I made this account. Like the account is 14 years old. And I remember me. Yeah, it's not the first Neopet I made. Uh, the first Neopet I made was just like a random one that I ended up dumping off at the pound as a cool heartless person. But she was like the, the second Neopet I made and I still have her to this day. And she's pink. She's pink and the pink paintbrushes are so expensive. So I'm very proud to have her. I'm, I'm gonna reload again because it's, it's, it's not loading. Why is the page not loading? But yeah, this is Takaika. She likes reading and learning, and when meeting others, she acts very friendly. There she is! Ha ha! And she has a pet pet. She has a ribbon. A bowler called Ribbon. And here's the description. <laughs> I fully wrote out a description for her. I was like, ah, oh, hi! I'm Takaika. Nice to meet you. I'm a pink Aisha, and I'm the oldest one here, so I tend to end up looking after the others. No, I should give my sisters some credit. They do a great job of looking after themselves. I can get a bit overprotective sometimes, though. Honestly, I think it's just my nature to help others out. I love being useful. In my spare time, I love nothing more than to curl up with a good book. I have a very sweet pet pet bowler named Ribbon. I know I'm not the most imaginative with names, but it suits them, right? <laughs> and then here it's just like what they think about my other Neopets. I need to expand this with my, my new ones, the, the new Neopets I made. I need to figure out how they're going to fit into my Neopets family. <laughs> But I fully just wrote up entire little little blurbs for them. It was a lot of fun. It's been a good time. Also, Mel, hello! Today you learned Neopets somehow still exist to this very day. Yeah, Neopets has had quite the quite the journey. Because what happened was Neopets ended up being sold to a company that basically then just fired all of the staff and hired new staff who didn't know what they were doing and then just kind of broke the site. But recently, like very recently, I'm pretty sure, some of the, I think it's some of the original owners managed to like buy back Neopets, like get control over it again. And it feels like they're trying to actually fix the game from what I, from what I've discovered so far. And it's really nice because there's like loads of active updates. They're constantly trying to do things and I've been having a lot of fun. I've been having so much fun coming back to it. It's been great. That's so cute. I'm glad you think so, Rika. Thank you. But yeah, basically, the, the way they are is uh, Takaika is like the the motherly one. She's the oldest. She's the oldest pet. She's the one who likes to look after the others. She worries a little bit. She protects everybody. Hamu. Let me just, I'm just going to open all of these other tabs and just go to them. Uh, where am I? Here's Pamu. Pamu's a baby. She's a little baby. She's a, she's a baby, baby Ursul. She's got huge eyes. She's massive, massive eyes. She's got a big head. She's got little fake fairy wings on. She has a little Harris. Uh, she's also an ultimate genius because everyone keeps reading her bedtime stories. So she's actually the smartest out of all of them, but she's also just a baby. Yeah, I'm a baby Usul and I love Usuki. 
I might look small, but I'm actually really strong and smart. I love books. My sisters read me bedtime stories every night, so I've read like a gazillion books. <laughs> so she's my baby, but she's also my, my battle dome pet. She's the pet that I'm currently training up to do fights in the battle dome. <laughs> So I'm here with all of these Neopets and I'm like, okay, yeah, the baby, the baby is the one who's good at fishing and super intelligent and uh, fighting in the battle dome. Oh, you just noticed one of my redeems. Oh, <laughs> Gil, thank you. Thank you for the Uwuktionary narration redeem. What better time to do it as well than with Pamu? Pamu the little baby. Honestly, I'm really proud that I got the pet named Pamu. Because I, I made this pet probably like a week after Carrie Pamu Pamu came out with Pom 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 and started becoming a viral sensation. Like, about a week after that, I'm pretty sure. I made Pamu and I got the, the pet name Pamu and it's, it's still my proudest one. But yes, let me open my dictionary to the letter Q. Let's see what we got. Thank you for the Uwuktionary narration redeem. The word we have is quaff. <laughs> Wait, why did I get quaff? Quaff. The word we have is quaff. It is a verb that means to drink heartily. For example, if you're in a bar and you quaff your drink, that means you are drinking it in a, a hearty manner. Just quaff your beer. <laughs> But thank you, that was a really short entry look. Let me, let me read another one. Let's, let's also read... Ah, ba, ba, ba. Let's open it on a different page. It sounds so wrong, does it really? I'm so used to the word quaff. I've, I've heard quaff loads. <laughs> I guess it's a more British thing maybe, but, but yeah, you quaff your drink. It means you're like really enjoying it. You're really like heartily downing that drink. <laughs> But thank you for Uuktionary, we also... Hi, hi. Let me try that again. Uh, hi. The next word we have is... Quince. Quince, a noun. A quince is the hard, acid, pear-shaped fruit of an Asian tree. So we got two words. You get two for the price of one. Thank you for the Iwukshinari. <laughs> and no need to apologize. It's, it's there to be used. It's, it's there to be redeemed. But I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, it is it is a weird word though, really, quaff. In my mind, I, I, I always think of like a quiff instead. Like a hair quiff. If someone says quaff. <laughs> Interesting words though. But yeah, this is Pamu. She's the little baby. She's also the strongest. She's also the smartest. She's also the best at fishing. She's also the second oldest, but because she's eternally a baby, she's simultaneously the second oldest and always the youngest. So that's a bit of an interesting dynamic. And then the next one we have is Ayashiku. Uh, her name was actually from a... A random, randomly pulled from a Girls' Generation song. Part of the lyrics of Girls' Generation Flower Power, one of the, the lines has Ayashiku in it. And I, I've forgotten what it means now. I, what does it even mean? I, 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 I don't know. Let me double check. Because I, I looked up the meaning and I was like, oh, that's really nice. Ayashiku. Yeah, it, me it means like suspiciously. Because it's like in the song Flower Power and it was like the, the flower is suspiciously blooming or something like that it translated to. And I just thought it sounded really cool so I, I used it as a Neopets name because it was available. <laughs> and she's my Valentine's pet. She's been painted with a Valentine brush. And I then got really mad at myself because after I painted her with the Valentine's brush, I realized that my one pet, Ruiho, her, her birthday is Valentine's Day. <laughs> and I only realized...
realized after I painted Aya. So I, I kind of messed that up a little bit. But it's okay. They, I, I made it into a lore thing of um, Aya being like, well, I, I think Ruiho was mad that I got the Valentine brush, but I like pink, so I, it suits me better. <laughs> But uh, Aya Shiku is basically like, she's the extrovert. She's the, the bouncy, active, loud one. She's always happy, having a good time, playing with the toys, looking after Pamu, looking after the baby. And she has a fairy Kadoity called Tiffany. And I love this pet pet so much. I really, really love that I got this pet pet. This pet pet was like one of my, my dream ones to get. And I love her. And it called her Tiffany because of course I did. And there's her, her profile. She's here like, I, I really love the color pink and treasure. Uh, Ayashiku likes hunting for treasure and when meeting others, she would smile sweetly. But uh, basically she hunts for treasure all the time. So Tiffany's the one who's always heading off into the catacombs to find goods and grave danger. <laughs> Doing all the risky things. But uh, I, I only do that because grave danger isn't actually risky. It's not risky at all for pet pets. But uh, then we have... Raisal. Raisal, the, um, the, the, hold on, the... <laughs> Give me a second, uh... Give me a second. We've got Raisal, the... The, the royal girl Aisha. <laughs> oh, you can't even read that. Hold on. <sighs> oh, how do I outline it? Outline. Outline? No, that's like a gradient. Oh my goodness, how do I outline this text? Oh, outline. There we go. Oh, I think it's because I made the font really big. I need to make the font smaller to match better. And now I need to reset the transformation. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. This is this is Raisal, the definitely actually a royal girl Aisha, and not just me buying the royal um, image from the cash shop. <laughs> No, they, they they did a thing where it's like everyone was always like really obsessed with the the unconverted pets in Neopets because they had like a big site thing in like God when was it? It'd be like two thousand seven, maybe? I think it was around two thousand seven. And they basically did it so that every pet in the game had their art style changed to be customizable. But people who had made pets before then, they could have the old art, like, grandfathered in. At the start of this year, they started a new thing where in the, the cash shop, in the premium buying with real money shop, you can buy the unconverted art. And I just really like how the royal girl Aisha looks. And you can just stick it over the top of any color of that pet. So long as you have, like, the same species, you can just stick any of these like premium art things over the top. It'll still list the original color on the page, but it'll look like they're the other color. But yeah, she she is she is definitely a royal girl, and don't don't worry about the fact it says rainbow. She's she's definitely uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, she is she's my royal one. She's got a a camarilla called Kari. Just a little butterfly thing. And she's the fancy one. She likes tea and cakes and being fancy. She's a princess. But I, I do eventually want to get the royal girl paintbrush. Just so I can like officially make her royal girl as well. But they're like 1.7 million. And I, I want to save my money until I've got 10 million. And then I will buy it for her. But yeah, she's very pretty. I just really love the design. 
of the, the royal girl Aisha. I think it's so pretty. Alright, and then we've got Ruiho, who's... Hold on. No, Ruiho is actually... There, Ruiho is actually Rainbow. <laughs> Ruiho, the, the Rainbow Aisha, her name was just me putting in, like, random strings of five letters to see if any were available. And I found some really nice five-letter names for the Neopets, so... Yeah, she's, uh... When did I make her? I made her when I like first returned to the site after a little bit, but I don't I don't think it was this year. Was it this year? What year are we in? No, it is it was this year. Oh, that's that's Ultimate Bullseye. Oopsie. <laughs> no, I, I I did make her this year. I made her on Valentine's Day this year. That was she was the the pet that I made. Hold on, no, when was Rysal? Yeah, Rysal I I made like four years ago because I, I logged in to see if I still had my account, made a pet, and then logged out again and didn't play. <laughs> but yes, I made I made her this February. She was the first pet that I created after returning to the site like with the intention of playing it again. When I was trying to figure out if I still knew my login, I was like, oh I do, let's make a pet. So I made Riho, she's rainbow. She's she's in the lesbian fields. She's having a great time. Don't worry about her. But her her lore, her character like plot is that she's just very sleepy all the time. And also her pet is the one that is being zapped by the the pet pet lavray at the moment. We got Greg, the disco meepet. <laughs> so yeah, she was the first one I made after like returning. And then I made Lassid just because I thought it was a cool name. Literally only made this pet because I realized the name was free and I was like, I want a pet with that name. So I've got this cool like citrus punk Aisha. <laughs> with a with a, a cash shop item of a plumpy eating bacon thanks to my friend. <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, I, re I really like this one. I, I I made all of the layouts for each of them to match their styles. So this one has like the, the citrusy background. This one has the, the rainbowy stripes, but it's not like a full rainbow. It's to match like the, the flowers. This one is the fancy, fancy royal background. This one is pink cats. <laughs> this one is very cute, like little rainbows, little hearts very cute baby one and then this one is just cool honestly I just tried to make it cool right so those are the ones that I've done the layouts for and then I also have two new pets that I've that I only made like this week <laughs> like I made these ones this week I made Arvola on a whim because it was koi day and you can only make a Koi Neo pet on Koi Day. It's one of the limited pets. So I was like, what if I just make one? So I made one. <laughs> made one on Koi Day. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this fish, but I'm glad I have her. And then I, I wanted, I wanted another royal girl. <laughs> Hold on, I deleted the text. No. I deleted the text again. Give me a sec. Let me fix it again. Outline. Why is the outline white by default? There, that'll do. Wait, this is so small. That's awful. Look how look how blurry this is. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I was going to say, at least you can still read it. You can't read that. Hold on, I need to fix this. There we go. That's a bit better. Ish. You still can't read it. Just just pretend that it doesn't say blue there. But yeah, this was another one that I, I made this pet on a whim. Because I really wanted a royal girl Usul with the, the unconverted artwork. <laughs> So I was going through and I was like, what sounds like it could be like a princessy kind of name? 
and I, I, I was just putting random letters in to see what would be available and we got to Halstia and this name was free so I was like well that sounds cool that's the name now <laughs> so these are all my pets and I love them I love them it's been so fun revisiting go away royal girl <laughs> but yeah it's been, it's been a lot of fun revisiting it I'm, I'm I've, I, I thought it would be like a silly little thing that I'd maybe do for a week and then get bored, but I've been doing my daily Neopets things for like three weeks now. <laughs> like actively in a row. It's really fun. Also, Pete the Salty Baguette, hello! Yeah, what a throwback! I know, right? I, I'm, I'm glad I started playing it again. It's, it's been fun. It's been a fun little adventure. I'm, I'm glad I could log into my my oldest remaining account, which is not frozen. <laughs> But yeah, it's been really fun. It's been really nice. Let's go back to the games room. Let's go play some games again. Oh, as someone who has never into Neopets, this is very educational. Oh, I'm glad you think so. I'm glad I can educate you. Um, by the way, most people don't have uh, four of five of the same type of Neopet. I just really like Aisha's. <laughs> I just really like Aisha's, so I kind of ended up with five of them along the way. <laughs> but uh, there are so many Neopets to choose from. There are loads. Wait, I could probably just go on to the create thing. I can just, like, show off some of the Neopets. There's so many of them. Here they are. Like, look, we got a Jub Jub. It's a little pom pom with feed. <laughs> We've got an Akara. Which is like an aquatic cat, a, a catic, a Aqu aquatic cat. I, I can't think of a way to to punify that. I really like Akaras as well, though. I think they're really cute. We've got the Lenny. We've got the Bloomeru, blue Bloomeru. There is the Shoiru. There is the Tuscaninny. There is Quiggle. There is Mirka. There is Zafara. There is Gellert. There is Bruce. I recently learned the backstory of the Bruce on Neopets, and I slightly lost my mind. Because I didn't realize, but the Bruce first existed as a PNG of Bruce Forsyth. And I didn't know this. I did not know this until like two weeks ago. I was looking into like the previous art of Neopets and so I was looking into the history of the Bruce and then I was just suddenly seeing all these PNGs of Bruce Forsyth and I was like what is going on? And so like after a while they were like they changed it to a penguin in, in a tuxedo for like probably copyright reasons and then it just became a penguin but it's still called a Bruce. <laughs> Which is so funny to me. Oh, I don't think you'd even be able to get into your accounts. Oh, it's worth a try. It's worth a try, I'd say. I, I, I didn't think I'd be able to get into this one, but I, I saved myself by always saving all of my old emails. <laughs> and it, I'm really glad. Oh, thank you for the haiku time as well! Uh, about any of my pets. I'm, I'm trying to think. Mm. My brain is so empty. I'm going to have some monster before I do the haiku. <laughs> oh, you think your first pet was either a Shoiru or a Gallard? I, I remember that the first time I ever played Neopets, my first pet was an Aisha. I had a blue Aisha. And my Aisha was called Cutie Blue Yonder. It was cutie underscore blue yonder. That was my first ever Neopet. It was a blue eyeshirt, cutie blue yonder. The name blue yonder was the name of the internet service provider that my friend had that I used to create the Neopet when I went to her house and we played Neopets on her computer. Cutie blue yonder. It's the worst. It's the worst pet name. It's so bad. 
And then I made one, and then I made a red Aisha, and I called it Cutie Red Yonder <laughs> to keep with the naming theme. <laughs> Bearing in mind, I was like, I was like nine or ten years old at this point. It was... I wasn't good at um, thinking of usernames. And then I adopted another Aisha from the pound, and that pet was called underscore Silverchair Fans Pet underscore. And at the time, I, I had no idea who Silverchair were. I'd, I'd never heard anything by Silverchair. But I just adopted this Aisha called underscore Silverchair Fans Pet underscore. And then I, and then I got a, a pet which was called uh, Alla 73946. It was just like A L L A 73946. And those were my first four Neopets. And all four of them were Aisha's in all four of the default colors. <laughs> I love that I can still remember that so vividly, honestly. I, I, I remember all of my first pets. I also remember some of the pets from like my my middle like frozen accounts as well i used to have a fairy terry who was so beautiful i really love how the the terries look in fairy form they're like little birds they're little birds but i had a fairy one with the original art and they're so pretty oh you really wanted a uni as a horse girl yes uni but I uh, gotta say though, having seen the various pet entries reminds you of all the OCs you have that can't put to paper to save your life. Ah, oh. <laughs> hopefully one day. I, I'm 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 just stalling because I can't think of a haiku. Let's do one about Pamu actually. Pamu is so small, but beware, she'll beat you up. In the battle dome. <laughs> There's a haiku. What else could I do? I just like Aisha's. They're like... Oh, no, hold on. Let me rethink this. I just like Aisha's. They look like alien cats. I'm a big cat fan. <laughs> that was a cough out on the last line. That's also a haiku. Thank you for the haiku, Redeem. My brain is very switched off today, to be honest. I think I think I used up all of my brain cells finishing Oros, and then I loaded up Neopets, and my brain immediately fell out of my ears, and I was, I'm 10 years old again. <laughs> I'm like, I'm 10 years old. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an, an, an Irie. Irie? Irie. Leary. Not the not the most leary like pet, but they're really cool as well, like the griffin types. Is it cow? There's an Uso, there's a Buzz, there's a Kachik, there's Corbat, there's Kyrie, Yerbel, Ogrin, Ogrin, Ogrin. I don't know how to pronounce half these. Zuitok. I do like these ones as well, they're like little chipmunks. Ch -ch -ch Chia. I like the cheers too. The, these ones are so fun because they, they they kind of just look like little beanbag blobs, but they they can be transformed into fruits. Like you can get a an orange chia and it just looks like an orange and things like that. There's so many different colors for these ones. They just turn into fruit and vegetables. I wonder if I can find that actually. Hold on. How do I... I know there's a way to... View all of the colors. View all of the pet colors. Maybe like... Is that Fairyland? Is that Fairyland? Yeah, that's Fairyland. I think it might be Fairyland. Rainbow Fountain. Oh no, that's, that's if you get a special thing to paint your pet. I know there's a way to view all of the pet colors. I just forget where it is. Have a look down here. Neopia Central? I know there's a way to do it. Pets. Hmm. 
Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly Google it in a different window. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I could just open a different website. Let's just open a better website. Uh, let's just go to jellyneo.net. <laughs> Jelly Neo, my savior. I, I love jellyneo.net. It is such a helpful website. It has like lists of like daily things you can do on Neopets. And like, I remember this from back when I was playing. This this site has been around for so long. I think like this and Sunny Neo are the two main like fan sites. But if we look here, look, if I go for Chia in all colors, Look, look, apple chia, asparagus chia, banana chia, avocado, aubergine, blueberry, carrot, chocato. <laughs> There's so many of them. Coconut, durian. <laughs> They're so funny. Oh, the grape one is so cute. I love that. But there's so many. They can just be made into like every fruit. All these fruit and veggies. Oh, wait, I found a geist one. If Geist were a Neopad. Good. Good content. Pepper. Look, there's so many! It's a potato one! It's, ju it's just a potato! Tomato, thornberry, strawberry. There are so many so many colors you can get this in and most of them are just fruit and veg oh it's so good but yeah my, my favorite pet is the Aisha and I'm also really lucky because Aisha basically comes in like every color <laughs> Aisha basically has like every single color as an option but yeah they're, they're so cute I love them I love them but yeah I really want to have a like a legitimate royal girl Aisha so I do want to get the royal paintbrush at the moment but like this is the new art because all of the art was like stylized to be customizable so you can like add clothes and stuff but then this was the original art and I really really love the original art so I'm really I, I, I threw I threw 10 bucks over to to make her look pretty <laughs> It was it was not the smartest use of my money, but I was going through a tough time and I was like, I want to buy a nice PNG. I'm gonna treat myself. And I think it's been worth it. I think the enjoyment I've gotten from it has made it worth it. <laughs> but all of the royal ones are so pretty. Like if I just look by colour royal girl, look how pretty they are. There's so many of them, they're so nice. They're lovely. I love looking at them. Very pretty. Oh, Pillow Ford, hello! Yes, I'm on Neopets. Uh, how expensive is it? Um, the the Royal Paintbrush itself is 1.7 million. So I would technically be able to buy one right now if I wanted, because I have a decent amount of money in my bank. But I want to save up my bank until I've got 10 million, and I'm only halfway there, so I can't spend anything yet. But uh, I, I, I would be able to afford it. I'm just waiting. <laughs> waiting till I have 10 million and then I'm just gonna go on a shopping spree. Uh, also, like, there's, there's an ongoing plot going on in Neopets at the moment. They're, like, building up to a site-wide plot at the moment and various things have been turning grey. Like, the, the bank manager does not usually look like this. He is very grey at the moment. And there's other little things too, like the if you go to visit the giant omelette, there's a thing in Neopets where there is just a giant omelette that appears and keeps regenerating every day, and you can just pick up a free slice of omelette every day. But the omelette has also turned grey recently. <laughs> So something is going on in Neopia. Something is happening. To turn everything grey. You can still get the omelette, so that's alright at least. But it's very interesting. There's other stuff too. There's... 
Hold on, I'm, I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna go back to Jelly Neo. <laughs> let's go, Jelly Neo. Let's uh, because they have like a a dailies thing somewhere. There, dailies, and these are all just like things you can do every day on Neopets. But uh, there's one on here as well, which is uh, the discarded magical blue Grundo plushie of prosperity. The the blue Grundo is also grey <laughs> at the moment. It's also gone grey. Oh, so I don't know what's going on here, but lo loads of things have been gradually turning grey. And uh, the Neg Fairy as well, she's also turned grey. There was the, the Neg Festival recently, and she was grey for that. It was like the introduction to the plot, like something is going on here. What is happening? So I'm, I'm very curious to know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm excited for my, my first Neopets plot since returning. <laughs> oh, does he always look so sad too? He does always look sad, but not usually that sad. Not usually like to that extent. And there's something else that went grey as well. I can't remember what it was. Oh, it's Colt San's shrine. King Colt San had a shrine. A shrine that has been erected in honor of the, the late King Colt San the Third. His spirit is still fine, but the shrine itself has also turned grey. It's usually like a sandy sandstone colour. So it's very mysterious. It's very mysterious knowing what's going on. Okay, nothing happened. Yay, my dailies. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to know what direction it's going to go in. I'm, I'm excited for, for Neopets plots. All right, should I do some of my dailies? What can I do? I, I got my bank interest already. Uh, anchor management. Let's do that. Anchor management. Let's fire the cannons. Fire. Fire, please. Fire. Please, fire. Great. I've, I've, I've gotten this about six times now. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for the quote. It's usually a sandy sandstone color. Yeah, as opposed to a non-sandy sandstone color. Although I guess it could be if you painted. If you painted sandstone, it would no longer be a sandy sandstone colour, would it? <laughs> but no, that was a little bit um, superfluous, I guess. But yes, that... Was that... Uh, blah, blah, blah. What should I do next? Oh, let's go to the council chamber. Let's get my daily piece of tat from the king. This is the old layout as well again. Let me collect my gift. Oh, I got olives! Oh, that's actually good. And I've got the daily quest to feed one of my pets. Maybe I'll just feed them some olives. <laughs> but yeah, there are so many things to do daily in Neopets. It's so fun. Right, let's, uh, let's do the daily puzzle. Let's see what the daily puzzle is today. Uh, which of the following fairies is not featured in fairy cloud races? Is fairy cloud races a game? I think it might be a game. What is fairy cloud races? Hold on. I've forgotten how to search. Oh, is that search? Yeah, okay. Which of those fairies is not included in fairy cloud races? It is, it's a game. Let's look at the Neopedia entry for it. Oh my god, it's a full little story. This is not what I was looking for. Um, yes, please, Rianta, let's, let's go to game. Go to the game, fairy cloud races. Which, which fairies are in this? I feel like it's going to be the, the space fairy. I don't think the space fairy is going to be in it. But I could be wrong. It would be faster for me to just Google this, but now I want to like see if I can actively find it on the Neopets website. <laughs> but uh, oh, and regarding like the plot theorizing, I, I'm not like active in the forums or Reddit's or anything at the moment. 
but I think like once once the plot like starts to kick in, there's usually like a little news entry that's just like, hey, something's happening over here now. And at that point, I'm definitely going to be lurking around to theorize and see what's going on. And... Okay, well, two of them are immediately on the the home screen. Oh, okay, we've got Talia, Fiora, Illusion. Okay, yes. Is, is Juida in there? Oh, here. Wait, no, Fiora's not here. Fiora's the fairy queen. Oh no, th she's not listed here. Wait, aren't they all here? They're all here. All, all four of those fairies are here. Miss Talia, Illusion, Space Fairy, Judah. Although she's like at an angle, so maybe. I don't know, it's not that important. Let's go Space Fairy. No, it was Judah. I Oh, I guess that's not her then. I, I don't know my Neopets fairies. Oh, oopsie. Ah. Oh, I might be thinking of somebody else. I think I was thinking of a different fairy. Hold on, <laughs> let, me, let me search this. Also, thank you for the hydrate, Bob. Thank you. I will have a sip of my monster. And welcome to Neopets time. <laughs> I was thinking of a different fairy. Oh, I was thinking of Judora. I was thinking of Judora, not Juida. I'm I'm so silly. Cause it's Judora who's the the dark fairy. <laughs> I got the wrong fairy name. That's on me. That's on me. That's all right. It's only like a few neo points anyway. Right. What else can I do daily? Uh, let's let's go to the deserted tomb. Open the door. It's so scary. There's treasure in here. The door is stopped halfway. Let us continue. I got nothing. Let's get out of there. <laughs> Let's escape. Okay, that one, I didn't get anything from that. That is fine. I'm out. Won't be here long though. You need to prepare yourself. Prepare yourself? But uh, that's totally fine. I'm glad you were able to stop in. Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just doing my Neopets dailies at the moment. <laughs> Forgotten Shore. Anything here? Nope, there's nothing of interest to be found today. A uh, fruit machine. <gasps> Let's see. Am I feeling lucky? Spin, spin, spin. I don't think I've ever won anything good from this. Nope, I did not win. <laughs> As expected. Let's get some free jelly! Free jelly! I got a jelly! It's basically the same thing as the omelette, but jelly instead. Okay, I already picked up my omelette. Let's go to Grave Danger. Grave Danger is the, the catacombs of Neovia. They're full of treasure with the danger to match. The chance of being cursed is 93.7%. Savvy adventurers are advised to train pet pets to seek out glorious riches in their stead. Everyone knows that Neopet curses don't work on pet pets. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's basically no risk involved. But I keep sending Tiffany in there. She came back with a with a cake. That's so nice. Thank you, Tiffany. Let me send you out again. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, go on a dark and dangerous adventure that's not actually that dangerous. There we go. Okay, Tiffany ate a grumble bug. Good to know. She'll be back in eight hours. <laughs> nice. Oh! Oh, grumpy old king time. Grumpy old king time. The grumpy old king in Neopets. You have the chance to tell him a joke. And sometimes you'll get things, but mostly he just doesn't find anything funny. Yeah. Oh, go your leap motion vest on. Oh, yes. Yeah, gonna have to prepare and get ready for the testing. I hope it all goes well. I hope everything works out as you've intended. <laughs> right, but with the Grumpy Old King, there's one thing that I always vividly remember. And it's like, it's the silliest thing. It's, 
there was like a Neopets trading card or something. I don't know exactly what it was. But it was a thing where it was like... The the puzzle, it, the, the question on the card was... Uh, what do you do if Fierce Piofins has eaten too much tin of olives? You offering them a can of what what what. And it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But ever since seeing that, it's become my to-go um, joke to tell the king. So every time I see him now, I just roll in with the exact same joke every time. <laughs> and it's it's so silly, but I, I, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm just here like, what do you do if Fierce Peerfins has eaten too much tin of olives? You offering them a can of Is the what 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 here? What what what? There it is! You offering them a can of what what what? This is clearly like peak comedy right here. This is... This is what Neopets is all about. Look at this. Also Mel, I hope you have a good dinner! Thank you for stopping in! I hope you have a, a nice, nice dinner. But oh, getting ready for playing games, yes! The best way to test. Right, tell the king my joke. My joke had no effect on him. What if I tell him the same joke again? What if I reload the page? Because you can try twice a day. What if I reload the page? No, he's, it still has no effect on him. I can't imagine why. I don't, I don't know why he's not laughing at my hilarious joke. But uh, what else is... Blah, 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 blah. Ba -ba -ba. Healing Springs is good. The Healing Springs is like every half hour you can potentially get healing and or a healing item. Nice! All of my pets got help. Right, let's... Oh, let's go Poke Meteor! Let's Poke Meteor, here we go. Meteor Poke time. Uh, what is that glowing in the distance? Do you want to find out? Should you risk the danger? Well, yes. You reach the object and realize that it's a meteor fallen from the dark skies of Kreliodor. What to do next? I'm poking it with a stick. Oh, it vanished. Ah. Oh. Sometimes you can get items when you poke it. But most of the time it just vanishes. It was worth a try. Let's go get a lump of obsidian for no reason. I always click on this. I always do this as a daily thing. Even though I'm not using the obsidian for everything. I'm just like, oh, it's free. Let's do it. Oh, let's do the neck cave. This is actually a little puzzle one. Oh, no, this looks really easy. Oh, no. This is a little puzzle based one. And sometimes they can be really tricky. This one's just easy. It just basically gives you the answer. This is so, this is so disappointing. So we put in these because we know these are here. And then it says there's a blue on the left-hand side, so that's got to be there. And then it says there's a fire in the middle, so that's got to be there. And then it says that's at the top, so that's got to be there. So it's... Uh... So yeah, and then it's just filling out because there's always one of each. That was a really easy one. Well, at least I got a... a... Kazaryu? Wait, that's cool. That looks cool. It's probably worth like five Neo points, but I don't care. That's cool. Okay, that was worth it. But yeah, sometimes the puzzles for this can be like genuinely tricky logic puzzles. And then other times it will give you just like write the answer at the side. <laughs> it's so random. <gasps> rich slog, let's get some money. Oh, I got 50 Neo points from what seems to be a very rich slog. That was nice of him. Anyway, thanks for visiting the shop of office today. Da -da -da. Also, Bob, thank you for the luck. Have fun with the games. I hope everything works out. Have fun with your, your leap motion. 
But yes, thank you for stopping in and thank you for lurking. I love free things. But yeah, the soup kitchen is still a thing in Neopets 2. I... I cannot take advantage of its services because I have a lot of money. But it's really sweet because the, the soup fairy basically looks after the soup kitchen. So anyone who starts the game, if you have under 3,000 Neo points, you can go to the soup fairy and she will feed soup to your Neopets so they never have to starve. It's really sweet. It's very sweet. But I, I love here that it's just like, oh dear, you have 4,953,403 Neo points. <laughs> Only really poor Neo pets can get handouts at the soup kitchen. I know, I just wanted to say hi to you. She's a good fairy. She has a, a good soul. Also, Mama, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to Neo pets time! Alright, Tala's non toolbar treasures. Is she here? Nope. Tombola! Let's, let's grab a Tombola ticket. Anything ending with a 0, 2, or 5 is a winner. What have we got? 56. I did not win. That's fine. What else is there? Oh, let's go fishing. Pamu's fishing skill is 67. Let's see what she fishes up. Nothing. Maybe you should be more patient. What? Okay. Sorry. Okay, let's go to the wise old king. Uh, this is basically like the Grumpy King, except instead of telling a joke, you are giving him wise advice. What words of wisdom should we give him? Hmm, let's go, uh... One should never assume that... a friend... is similar to... a... A shy... A shy N4 information retrieval bot. I'm feeling good about this one. This feels like good advice to me. What do you think? One should never assume that a friend is similar to a shy N4 information retrieval bot. You exclaim knowingly. Uh, well, it could have been worse. I'm not dense young and I already knew that. <laughs> Okay, he wasn't impressed by my incredibly wise advice. I like that, though. I think that's good advice. It's a good thing to be aware of. Right, what else is there? These are all, like, more daily things. Oh, popular games. Some Neo points required. Oh, let's do buried treasure. Let's see if we can find some buried treasure. It's 300 Neo points a game. Oh, where do I want to look? Which square should I choose for the, the buried treasure? There's so much choice. I love that this island looks a little bit like a rabbit. Like a rabbit sideways sitting down. Like this is the body. This is the, the ears. This is where the nose would be. Let's guess on rabbit island. Aw. Never mind. I tried. It was worth a look. Right, what else can I do? There's a lot of stuff I can do. <gasps> wait! Wait, I should buy some stocks. Stonks. Stonks. Uh, in, in Neopets, there's a whole, like, Neopian stock market. I don't know how it works. I know nothing about the Neopets stock market, but I know there is an achievement. There's, a, there's an avatar you can get when your portfolio is higher than a million neo points so i've basically just been buying the maximum amount of stocks i can every day just in the hopes of making my total stock portfolio eventually be a million i'm not buying good ones as you can see i've i've got like a this is like seven at the moment i'm i'm not i'm not very good at it <laughs> but basically what i'm doing is you can only buy stocks that are priced at 15 or more so every day I've just been going to whatever stock there is that's at 15 and then I just buy a thousand of them because you can only buy a thousand shares a day so that's my daily thing it's just like any random stock that costs 15 
I buy a thousand of them every day. <laughs> just to bump my portfolio up. And then as soon as I get the avatar and I've, I've gotten the million, I'm just going to sell them all off and never look at the stock market again. I truly do not care about neopian stocks. <laughs> uh, oh, let's check out Tala's Shop of Mystery. Tala has like a mystery shop where the, you can buy a random item from a bag, but it's usually just junk. So let's see. Let's buy it. It's a packet of gravel. What do you know? It's junk. <laughs> Never mind. I tried. Okay, what else to do? Oh, let's test my strength. I'm going to do the test your strength machine. This thing is definitely not rigged. Look, Arnold even says here, I assure you, this game is not rigged. It's very not rigged and legitimate and... Yay! I got four! I got four out of a hundred. That's so good. Yeah, the rankings going up are just like useless, pathetic, terrible, awful. <laughs> and you usually don't get any high score in that. But I still do it every day, like just on the off chance it'll be the day I get lucky and get the jackpot. Plus it's only like, it's only a hundred Neo points. I can make that back easily. I could sell my omelette and get that back. Ooh, I could do some questing. Oh, I should check my quest log. I've done some quests now. I've played a game. Let's claim my reward. I've got my planetary billiards. What are they? How much are they worth? Planetary billiards. They're worth a lot. Okay. <laughs> right, so the other things I need to do are groom a Neopet, feed a Neopet, buy an item from a Neopian shop, and spin the Wheel of Knowledge. I can spin the Wheel of Knowledge. Very easily. Wheel of Knowledge, let's do it. This costs 400 Neo points to spin. I generally don't think it's worth it. But it's only 400, so I don't mind. I'm, I'm just here like, yeah, have a good time. Oh, hey, I got a free spin. Nice. I spin it again. What did I get? What do I get? I'm not, what? I got another free spin. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to sit here spinning this now. Is that, this what I get for saying it's not usually worth it? There we go. Click to claim my prize. Uh. Good job on taking such good care of your Neopet. So I got nothing, basically. Because that would be a healing spot. But none of my pets need healing. Yeah, honestly, hilariously enough, of all the wheels that there are to spin, uh, the one that I get the most rewards from usually is the Wheel of Mediocrity. <laughs> Which you wouldn't expect to give good results. But usually the Wheel of Excitement is just like, hey, you won this great thing. I'll give you less Neo points than you paid to spin it. Uh, Wheel of Extravagance costs 100,000 a spin, so I just don't. Wheel of Monotony takes like three hours to finish spinning. Wheel of Misfortune, it's, it says it on the, it's in the title. But the Wheel of Mediocrity is actually pretty decent sometimes. It only costs 100, but there's loads of Neo point spots. Let's give it a try. I'll probably get really unlucky this time. No, I, I still got my money back. So I didn't make a loss like I did on the, <laughs> the Wheel of Knowledge. I really like the, the Wheel of Mediocrity. It's great. I love to be mediocre. Right, let's buy something from a Neopian shop. I don't know what. I'm just going to go into a random shop and buy something. It might load. It may load one day. Neopia Central, give me the shops. Sammy, hello! Welcome, welcome! Congrats on being an Elan ambassador. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's so exciting. It's it's really nice. <laughs> uh, I was I was asked if I wanted to be part of the the first the first wave, the first generation, and I replied immediately with yes, instantly. It's like, it's basically just me doing what I already do, because I already shill the games. 
but with added bonuses for me and other people. So it's 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 just good. It's just a, a great situation. But yeah, Studio Elan is so good. They have such good games. And it's really exciting to, to be part of that too. I I'm very happy. Right, let's uh let's go to the post office. Let's see if I can buy a stamp. Okay, there are stamps. Let's buy a, a rotting skeleton stamp. That looks cool. I don't care about haggling too much. The, the, I just want the site to load. Let's go 1,300. I got it! Hey! Oh, wait. I just bought this for 1,300 and then I just found 2,400 Neoports on the floor. So I just got money from buying something. And I'm going to get more because I get the reward from the the daily quests as well. I'm I'm being paid to buy things and get free stuff. That's great. And uh, Lars Lars Mag Magras, welcome, welcome, well, well, well. What is the well, well, well for? Uh, welcome in though. Hi, welcome to Neopets times. Okay, now I just need to feed a food item and groom a Neopet. Let's go to my safety deposit box. Because uh, ba -ba -ba. I know I have... Like a hairbrush or something. <laughs> yeah, it's got a hairbrush out. There we go. And so now we'll just pop to my inventory when it eventually loads. Here we go, right. Hairbrush. Let us brush Rysal's hair. Thanks, you're my favorite owner. I'm your only owner. I am the only owner you have ever had, Rysal, but I'll still, I'll still, I'll still take it. Thank you. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, oh, you're German. Oh, I see. Guten Tag. Uh, I don't speak German, I'm afraid, but uh, welcome on in. Welcome. I'm just like, whenever I see a longer username, I always like hesitate to say it out loud in case it's somebody trying to like bait me into saying something bad. <laughs> but welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Neopets time. Do I already have this stamp? I don't even pay attention to which stamps I do and don't have. I'm just like, I just needed to buy one item. <laughs> It'll load eventually. Thank you, little loading cloud jub jub. Jub jub. Oh, it's taking so load. Tok taking so load. Taking so long to load. Here it is. Uh, put it in my stamp album. Okay, I already have it. Well, it's something else to add to my safety deposit box. And now we've got a jelly. I will feed that to Ruiho. Eventually. Please, please eat your jelly. Yay! And with that, I've done all my daily quests. Oh, you haven't touched Neopets in forever. Honestly, neither had I. Neither had I until the start of this year. I, My account is 14 years old, and I would say for a solid 10 years of that, I was not playing Neopets. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really glad I managed to log into my old account because it's, it's been really nice playing again, but not having to start from scratch. But yeah, with that, I should have completed all of my daily quests. Claim reward, thank you. I get so much money from this. The daily quests and the daily rewards are, are so generous. It really makes me want to keep logging in every day, honestly. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. And because I did all of my daily quests, I get a bonus 20,000. Eventually. Quest could not be resolved, please try again. I'm refreshing. There we go! I got it! I got my 20,000. So with that, I'm making more progress towards my, my weekly reward now. Which I really want to get, so I've got to keep doing these every day. <laughs> but I did it! I got more money. How much do I have now? I 
feel like I didn't get all of my money from that. Oh no, I did. It just didn't. It just didn't load. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Right. I'm just gonna put everything in to see how much I have. Deposit my Neo points. See, my my goal is to get to 10 million Neo points just because I want. I want the ultimate riches bank account, where you need 10 million in your bank account to get it. As soon as I've hit that 10 million, I'm just gonna be spending. I'm just gonna spend it all, probably. <laughs> I'm probably not going to actually save once I've hit that mark, because that's just, that's my goal. And after that, I, I don't care. I, I don't care about, like, holding lots of money, I just want to buy nice things. <laughs> But I'm so close. I'm so close to the 5 million mark. That'll be the next bank account. If I can get 30,000 more. I'll get that tomorrow. With my daily quests, probably. But, oh, I'm glad I decided to do Neopets today, though. I, I wasn't sure whether to or not. I thought it might be a bit silly. And it was a bit silly. But in a good way. I like silly. It's been a lot of fun, though. But, uh, you live, your dinner doesn't. Oh, good. I I hope it got consumed. <laughs> Welcome back. But yeah, this is my profile. If, if anyone plays Neopets, you are welcome to add me as a Neo friend. I'll, I'll just, like, add anyone. I don't, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really pay attention to the Neo friends list. But yeah, this is my profile. These are the things I have. These are my trophies. I have, like, the trophies for the card games, and that is it. I only have the card game trophies, and also beating Punchbag Bob, because that is just defeating a Punchbag in the Battle Dome that has a ridiculous amount of health and it takes forever, but you get a trophy out of it, so I did it. But yeah, I, I like my... I like my trophy collection. And I've got 221 secret avatars. I want to get one more to make that 222. That would be satisfying. But yeah, my Neopets account. My username is Mikune. I named it after Hatsune Miku. Right, I wonder if there's anything else that would be interesting. Oh! Do we do a zappy? Seven. Oh, I just missed the Snowager, the Snowager account. I was an hour late. I came at like 8 a.m. That's good to know, though. I need to remember that. <laughs> Do we? Oh, okay, we're going Zappy. Here we go. We're going to Zap Greg. All right, stream of luck. Give me something good. Whoa. What, what have I done? Whoa. What is this? What What is that? I, I, need to, I need to see what type of pet pet this is. I have never seen this before in my life. It's like, like a purple tongue. Or something. With a tongue. Or maybe like a leaf shape, but it's, it's wet. I, what is it? Okay, use a lookup. It is, uh, it's Ruiho's pet pet. Here we go. I can't scroll down until it loads. Ah! I can't scroll down until it loads. Ah. Uh, it's like Gengar in candy corn form. Wait, it is. It really is. <laughs> That's great. Oh, there we go. It's, it's a mutant driblet. <laughs> What does a driblet usually look like then? Because that's that's the the mutant version. I need to find a page here. Let's look up a driblet. <laughs> it is a tongue. It's usually just that's that's slightly disturbing. That is that is a little disturbing to look at. But I've got a, a mutant mutant driblet. <laughs> it goes pointy. 
It's way more pointy as a mutant. The more I look at it, the more I'm I'm feeling a little bit charmed by him. I, I quite like him. I think he's a good friend. Yeah, he's, he's a good friend. Thank you, Greg. You're a good Greg. <laughs> right, now for the big one. Let's try the big lab ray. Reptile run, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome to Neopets time. You are just in time for the moment of zapping Ruiho, which is going to turn her into a fairy. That's, that's not going to happen. It would be great if that did happen. I don't think anything's going to happen. But uh, at the moment, uh, I'm zapping Ruiho purely because um, Rainbow Aisha morphing potions are really cheap. So if she gets morphed into something that's not an Aisha, I just like morph her back. But let's zap her. It's okay. You'll be all right. It'll be good. <gasps> Wait. She changed color to pastel? Wait, did I actually get a good lab ray zap? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was joking. I, I never get good lab ray zaps. I, it's usually just like, wow. uh, and she lost two defense points and she gained a defense point and she changes gender and he changes gender. I, I, whoa. Streamer luck. Streamer luck is so real. Oh my goodness, she's not rainbow anymore. She's not rainbow anymore. She's pastel. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. Yes! Oh my god! She's so pretty. Wait, I love this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I didn't expect a, a good result. What is this? What is happening? Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I am so glad I decided to zap you. Oh my goodness, look! Oh, look at her. We're customizing. We're customizing. It's almost my colors. Yeah, it's just slightly not. It's like orange and green as opposed to like pink and teal. But oh, it's so pretty. I love this like minty shade with like the the peachy orange okay she's not loaded properly she has no eyes i'm sure it's okay i'm sure she'll be all right but are, are her eyes gonna load it's saying the page is fully loaded it's not she doesn't have her eyes i would like her eyes please i can't believe i actually got a, a nice lab ray result i need to stream neopets more often what the heck Oh, this is amazing. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. It's so pretty. She's so pretty. Look at all the random customization things I have. Oh, what if I give you some eyeshadow? Will that make your eyes? No, it, it doesn't make your eyes appear. That's okay. I thought it came with like a, a collar as well. Does it not come with the collar if it's zapped? Or, or is she wearing the collar and it's just not showing up? It's also very possible. Hold on, let me go back to my... Back to my main page. Let's see what the little PNG looks like. No, she's got the collar on in the PNG. So the collar is there. It's just that the customization isn't loading. Oh, look at her though. Oh, I love this. Oh, I got so lucky. I can't believe this. That's amazing. Oh, it's showing up now. It's showing up. I just had to wait a bit. Oh, look. Okay, I'm, I'm going to remove the, the eyeshadow. A little bit harsh for a pastel look, maybe. But, oh my goodness. I can't, I can't believe this. I'm... Oh, what will she look like if I put her in the same... Field of tulips? I can find it. Oh, I feel like this is too bright for pastel now. We need to find it. Oh, wait. Yeah. 
I need to find her a new background to match, but this will do for now, I think. What else do I have? Oh, there's a little bow. Give her a little bow. What does the bow look like? Because the bow's pastel colours. Really doesn't want to load anything. But it's okay. I can't believe that, though. I wonder how much the pastel paintbrushes go for. Hold on, let me check. Pastel paper. 1.8 million? 2 million? 1.8 million? 2 million? It's, it's around the 2 million mark for a pastel paintbrush. And I just... Wow, I, ju I just got that from a, a labs app. I've, I've, I'm using up all of my streamer luck now. That is incredible. Okay, the bow is cute, but the fact that it's outlined... <laughs> the fact that it has a black outline means it doesn't match with the pastel. So I can't... I can't give her the... the bow. Oh, wait, pastel colored wig and hat? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. We can use this. Okay, she's got this little wig and hat now. <laughs> What else do I even have? Where, none of these are like super... Oh! Yes! They're on the cherry blossom path! There we go. I, d I need to find more pastel customization things. But this looks nice for now. This is cute for now. Let me just check. Yes, she does still have her collar on even though it's not showing up. Oh, I'm so happy! That's so good! I guess she's pastel now. I guess I'm going to be zapping a different pet now. <laughs> but oh, that's so good. That's so cute. Oh, I'm going to have to redo her pet page now. She's not rainbow anymore. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. I'm so happy. Oh, I got really good luck from this stream. I'm so glad I decided to do this. Summon streamer luck. I also can't believe I've managed to spend like three hours on Neopets. I thought I was going to get bored after an hour. This has genuinely ended up being really fun. <laughs> I'm glad I decided to play this. Right, what time is it? Oh, it's like 10 to 6. Let's, let's try like one more game before I head off and have some dinner. Let's... Let's try Ultimate Bullseye. Oh, hello. It's got music. Let me turn the elevator music off. There we go. Ultimate Bullseye 2. Right, instructions. Uh, you have 10 shots to try to hit the bullseye in this medieval game of skill and timing. Use up and down arrow keys to move the ballista and aim your shot. Then hold the space bar down to build up the right amount of power and release it to fire your arrow. If you manage to hit the bullseye on the last shot, you'll earn three extra shots. I'm gonna be bad at this. I don't know what any of that is. I'm scared. Let's give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Oh, there's a balloon! Oh, wait! This is not the ultimate bullseye I remember. Why is it at an angle? Where did I shoot it? I just shot it like down. This is not the ultimate bullseye I remember. Classic games. Oh, it's it's two. G give me give me my childhood memory ultimate bullseye, please. Oh wait, puzzles. What puzzle games are there? Oh, I love that it's offering the Neg Cave daily as a puzzle game. What is Cell Block? I, I got a... I have a trophy on my page for Cell Block. Like third place in Cell Block or something, but I don't know what it is. What is this? Apparently I've just lost once to Master Vex. What is this? Oh! Oh, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to do that right now. 
Uh, what else is there? Neck sweeper. That's just gonna be mind sweeper, isn't it? Let's do it. Uh, let's do it on easy. Oh. <laughs> I don't have enough Neo points to play, never mind. I need to play a different game before I can play this one, I got no money. Oops, uh, what can I play? I do like Destructo Match. I remember enjoying Destructo Match a lot. Ooh. I could do like Kojong. I do like pyramids too, but that also costs Neo points to play. Uh, luck and chance. Nope. Uh, strategy. Elif Thade. Wait, is that the typing one? No, that's typing terror. Typing terror is the typing one. I kind of want to try it. Uh, my typing is going to be so loud in this probably. I want to try typing tarot. Let's see how good my typing is and if I can remember what I'm doing. Is there music for this game? Oh, the sound is off. Sound on. Play game. Uh, normal. Defeat the five levels of the game, then challenge the clockwork grundo boss with the completion of each level. The required number of words plus the number of letters in each word will increase. Okay, yeah, let's just go normal. Alright, what is this? Hello? Uzi? Okay, these are just three letters at the moment. That one's upside down. There we go. Oh, this is easy enough. For now. Bye. FYI. <laughs> I did it! Level complete. I think I did turn off the sounds by clicking sound on. But it's okay. Oxen. Nuts. Jute. X-ray. Bite. Fire. Eyes, liar, cuts, worm, sink, eyes, curt. I keep losing where my fingers are on the keyboard because I'm sitting weirdly. <laughs> accuracy 88%, it's fine. I don't need accuracy so long as they die. usually type like really fast but in a game like this I find it so much harder I don't know why I I think it's because like you don't see what's gonna happen immediately like if I was given a whole sentence to write and I give I was given the sentence on screen I could type that so quickly but when it's like individual words that are being individually revealed I am all over the place that's all right I keep going. Hello. And it's so hard when it's like Neopets words as well. Okay, okay, I made it through that level. This next one's probably gonna be where I perish. Maybe. What are these? What's this Zillard? <laughs> yeah, that's the end. Well, I gave it a good bash. Let's send the score. <laughs> but hey, I got 400 Neo points from that. <laughs> I brought it up to, to six o'clock. Uh, six, six o'clock. 
six o'clock quite nicely. And the reset game, the restart game button is broken again, so I can't click that. But yay! That was a good time. I'm so glad I decided to play Neopets. I can't believe I have a pastel pet now. <laughs> That's so pretty. The pastel Aisha is so cute. I love that. I had a lucky day. But yeah, with that, I think it is time to... Look. I've got to turn the music off earlier. <laughs> With that, I think that's a good spot to end the stream at, and I can go and get some dinner. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me today on my, my silly whim Neopets stream. <laughs> I can't believe I ended up playing Neopets for like three hours. I'm a little Im impressed with myself, I gotta say. Also, Lynn Starfall, oh hello! Sorry, you're joining right as I'm ending. It's already six o'clock for me. <laughs> it's already 6 p.m., but uh, glad you managed to, to say hi at least. Hello. You missed me um, playing Neopets for three hours. <laughs> but uh, that was really fun. I'm so glad I did that. I am feeling very hungry now, though, so I think it is probably time to get some dinner and find a raid target. Let's see who's online to send a raid to. Oh, I hope I had fun. I did. I had so much fun. I didn't expect to honestly be able to play Neopets for three hours. But it was it was a lot of fun. It was it was really chill. It was a nice like chill chatting, hanging out, just spending time with people kind of game. I liked it. It was a good time. And I'm really glad I got the, the streamer luck too with my, my lab raise app. I did not expect that. I like jokingly said, oh yeah, I'm gonna get a fairy pet now, and I I got another painted colour that's like two million. <laughs> it's like better than fairy so good but yes let's see who is online to raid oh there's a few people there's a few people online there is um... hmm. <gasps> wait daf's live daf shoe Let's send the raid to Daf Shu, because Daf raids me so often, and usually our stream times don't line up well enough for me to raid her back. But uh, it's Daf Shu's uh, affiliate anniversary celebration and a uh, Dathathon. <laughs> so yeah, I'll send you over Daf's way, playing Okami at the moment. That seems good. I always love when I get the chance to raid people I can't usually raid. So it's exciting. But yes, here is the raid message. If you're not subbed, we got comfy. If you are subbed, um, no, if you are subbed, we have comfy. If you're not subbed, we have hearts. But also if you're not subbed, you can buy it for like 80 channel points. I think you can buy the comfy emote for a day if you want. <laughs> so everyone can comfy if they want. But yeah, it's been really fun. It's been a really fun stream. Thank you for indulging in my Neopets wins. <laughs> It was really nice. It was a good time. But yes, for now, I must... I must prepare things for the weekend. And also get some dinner, because I'm really hungry. <laughs> but uh, I will be, I'll be back again on Friday. We will see if Family Friday will happen. There might not be a Family Friday stream this week. It may... Because Xander's... Uh, having a rough time after his uh, dentist appointment, so he might not be able to talk. <laughs> so we might not be able to do the Family Friday stream, but it all depends on how he's feeling on Friday. Like, we'll see how it goes. It There might be no Family Friday. There might be a shorter Family Friday. But either way, there will be a stream on Friday. If, if it's not Divinity with Xander, I'll play something else instead, because I've, I've got a couple games that I've been meaning to play that I think would be good as like a little one shot. So we'll see how things go for Friday. I'll let everyone know on Friday what's gonna happen. But yes, that is all. Oh, is it rude to ask who Xander is? Oh, Xander! If you've not been here on a Friday, then it's understandable that you wouldn't know, but Xander is my brother. He's my real life brother who I share a house with and I stream with him every Friday. 
We do streams together. We call it Family Friday and we play co-op games together. <laughs> and we've been doing it for like three and a half years now. We've been slowly running out of games to play and then we played Baldur's Gate 3 and it lasted eight months. <laughs> so now we're playing Divinity and hopefully that will also last four months. But yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really lucky. I've, I've got a really cool brother. Don't tell him I called him cool. I will deny it. Don't don't tell him I said that. But uh, we're really lucky because we're friends as well as siblings. So we just get along really well. But yeah, I stream with him on Fridays, but we'll see how this Friday goes. I'll keep everyone posted. But for now, I'm going to send the raid over and go and get myself some dinner. But yes, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, 